Hello, and welcome to today's stream. Um, my name is Carrie Marsh, and this is Behind the Chart on Sugar by Lila Bialy. Um, and I'm uh, looking forward to writing this arrangement. Uh, this is, I'm speaking right now to people in the future because um, at the moment, of course, nobody knows that I'm here. Um, and that is the nature of this. I'm going to do a little bit of a uh, little bit of work to make sure that uh, folks know how to find um, my stream. So apologies, uh, those those folks watching in the future, you may then decide to uh, scoot forward just a little bit. Um, <laughs> and uh, as we uh, as I kind of uh, get this kind of figured out. So um, but thank you for being here. And uh, yeah, I just have to go into my settings here. It's been too long since I've done this. And I cannot remember the super slick way of Oh, here's my stream settings. Um, that doesn't look right. I have to find how to share this. Um, the quality is should be higher. Um, anyway, so I'm going to be writing this arrangement, and it's uh, going to be fun and good. This is for Kansas City, Kansas Community College, and uh, that. Uh, is uh, that's it's a group uh, under the direction of John Stafford, and he's a friend of mine, um, uh, and an excellent vocal jazz director and uh, an arranger himself, singer, all of that. And so I'm honored to get to write this chart and uh, honored to get to work with uh, Lila Bialy on licensing um, this song, um, and that's that's very very cool. So weirdly, I cannot find this. I cannot find my stream. Why? <laughs> I can't find my stream setting. This isn't really the stream URL. Um, you guys, why can't I find this? Stream health. The stream is healthy. It's doing well. We have maybe a couple viewers watching. Hi, hi. Please be patient with me as I figure out how to share this again. It's just every single time I do this, it's usually been a while. Um, and so this is awkward. I guess I'm going to go to my own page. To, there it is. OK, it just took a second to show up there. So it's going to make noise. There it is. OK, boom, boom, boom. Now let me share it on the Facebook. Um, as much as I can't stand this platform. Um, have to have to use it to communicate unforch and a little Twitter similarly as much as I cannot stand that platform so there it goes all right we have now communicated that so um, I am good to go and we'll be looking your own uh, your own's my guy he's always uh, early to uh, to be on to a session good to see you buddy um, I will be so close to you physically shortly when I'm in uh, in Germany in about a week. Uh, sorry, I'll, I'll miss you this time around, but uh, hope you're doing good, buddy. I'm sure we'll have plenty of time to talk. Um, if you don't know this tune, um, uh, Sugar is a... Oh, yeah, there's there's one more. I, I've, I've got to send this link to um, John himself. Um, so here it is. I'm... Live now, feel free to share with your students. Free to share with your students. Uh, should be going all day. It's going much of the day. <laughs> See ya. Exclamation mark and send. Okay. Yeah. Um, hey, Matt Miles. <laughs> <laughs> the way I rushed to my computer to see this. Oh, it's very, very exciting. <laughs> um, this tune. Um, oh, yeah, and by the way, uh, there's there's a new thing that um, I, I have a slick. <laughs> I've I've got a slick setup here where I've figured out how to get um, my computer audio fairly conveniently into OBS, <laughs> which I'm using to, uh, um, you know, which everybody you know, it's the free platform people use to do their streams. Um, but I'm also uh, I'm also getting a little bit of slapback on my end. You're not going to hear it. I've tested it. I believe you won't hear it. Um, but as I'm transcribing from this recording, which, by the way, here's that sound. Might be loud, maybe not. Oh, 
hope that's clean for you. It's actually not for me. <laughs> I'm getting I'm getting it like it's in a uh, large bathroom or something like that. Um, and so it's it's obviously there's a, a loop somewhere, and I just have worked all morning and trying to figure it out. That same loop occurs to me when I hit something in Sibelius. It goes ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Um, and that's the way I'm going to hear this tune with grooving rhythm all day long. Um, but I just can't figure it out otherwise, and I really wanted to stream this. And so here we are. Um, really wish I could <laughs> determine what was going on in the settings to to uh, to create that so I could stop it. But somehow I must be previewing the audio, and somehow it, that's it. So this arrangement, uh, what I've done so far is I've written um, at least a starting bass part, because this tune really... Uh, like the bass is really important to this particular tune. It's a very dominant tune. In fact, I, I there isn't another kind of chord except for a dominant chord in the entire chart. I mean, there are sus chords. Um, so that's very unusual for me. Ten, I tend to write a lot of tunes that aren't so bluesy and that don't have um, don't have all the dominant chords. Um, and, uh, and but but this this tune is is one that I thought was cool for its lyric content. Uh, for its groove and um, and you know just the idea and because it's uh, Lila um, and I just particularly um, I particularly dig uh, her music so much and she's um, become a friend who I've I've never met in person but she's been so um, uh, kind and wonderful to work with um, uh, remotely at least she's in Canada you know and she's been so great to work with and and um, we've had great talks about music and and publishing and everything. Um, <laughs> yeah, everyone says, sorry to hear you're having troubles with your audio setup. Nice if everything just works, but sadly, computers, indeed. I know. You know, should I put, um, before, I've uh, in the past, I've put my um, chat on the screen. I think I could pop it out and then put it on the screen. So you, I, I think you probably otherwise can't see my chat. Um, there is a pop out. Here it is. Pop out chat. Bingo. All right, so where's a good spot for it? I, I just I should I should sort of I should sort of stick it over here in the corner, and then I'll just make sure and not use that part. Um, only other thing is I want to have this up so I can follow along with my video details and make sure that everything is streamed. It says not receiving enough. Uh, data to maintain a smooth stream. So if it is not looking great for you right now, I apologize. I don't know why. I have a, uh, I have a really solid um, wired setup here. So um, no, now you can't see the music. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna only write in this space. I think anyway. Um, I think. No, no, we can't see the music. I hope that's okay. Um, I might go ahead and make this a little smaller so things fit um, with the chat in front of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll just I'll just make sure I don't do anything in front of um, the chat. In fact, I'll make myself a little bit smaller in this setup too. You know, if I if I did this all the time, I would end up with solid practices. Um, <laughs> With OBS and things, but right now it's it's still something I haven't been doing too regularly. So I gotta I gotta get in better habits with my uh, with my stuff here. But anyway, here is uh, I might as well make the chat longer. I don't know so you can see it. There you go. Hey guys, um, so feel free to jump in. And uh, so I, I put this because if people watch it in the archive, they can at least see what I'm responding to. If I stream in 4K, I'll have plenty of space. Am I not streaming in 4K? I'm not. Oh, um, output mode. Oh no, yeah, I guess. And so my yeah, my my resolution is twenty five sixty. Oh oh, it's uh, it's twelve eighty. I think it's just twelve eighty. Um. I guess this is what I've got. <laughs> I guess this is what I got. Um, the lower part of the chat is not visible. Um, oh, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Here, I'll pull it up. 
Yeah, and that's actually the part that matters the most. So here, I'll put it right there. Okay, we're figuring it out, and um, I will look over there. Okay, I just want to make sure I not do stuff. Okay, here we are. We're 10 minutes in. Um, um, yeah, we're 10 minutes in and ready to start, <laughs> so here we go. So uh, this, this uh, the tune itself, uh, Sugar, is about... Um, it's kind of the lyrics are about sugar addiction. She bases it on a poem um, that's that I forget the poet uh, who wrote um, a, a similar you know concept essentially about sugar and a sugar addiction. And so she's writing about that now. I've had that for years. I've been super um, hooked on sugar, um, like a lot of people, and fought and struggled with that. Now I do keto. Uh, but uh, but that, that sort of thing, uh, you know, that's 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 been a reaction to um, the allure that sugar has had. So even putting this thumbnail on it with the you know the pink and the donuts and stuff was was a bit of a trigger. <laughs> um, but it's a fun tune, and um, I think we can I think we can maybe take a listen to it um, together at the beginning of this now, um, and so you can see what I'll be working with, and uh, you can see what I've done so far, which is mostly just um, transcribe uh, bass parts. Um, I have some of uh, Lila's materials here. I have her lyrics uh, in case I had a hard time understanding any lyrics. I don't think I would do. She's pretty clear. Um, and um, I've, I've got uh, a piano chart that she wrote for herself that um, is written in cut time, whereas this is not written. I don't have it written in cut time here, so I might um, have to make some variations. Anyway, I'm going to play it for you right now. So here it, here it is. <laughs> I'm uninspired Sugar Because it works so fast Sugar so sweet It's gonna help me last Sugar Because it didn't plan Sugar To help me understand Sugar So I can make it through Sugar tastes sweeter When I'm missing you muting. I hope bass players can do that. Sugar, because I'm also sad. Sugar, because I feel so bad. Sugar, so I can just forget. Sugar, because my mind is sad. Sugar, because I'm lonely still. Sugar, because there's a hole to feel. Sugar, because it don't cost much. Sugar, so sweet, it's like a human Lila's amazing. She's she's really a great writer. Because it's on my Got her own special voice. When I can feel the shame. And a lot of her stuff is very different from this. Too. Sugar so sweet is gonna help great. me. Sugar, because you come for me. Sugar, so it's like a blues, right? <laughs> but I love this chorus. So. This thing. a little bit. I always like to get something in place, rhythm section usually throughout. Now I'm going to lift the melody. The bass return comes in, the drums.
copied that too many times. <laughs> Rondo now. So I put this in. I'll take this out later. FM 101 change okay that is sugar by Lila Bialy we're playing only the hits today I'm Chris Tan okay sorry I used to be a DJ so um <laughs> um so that is what's going on let me I just want to check to see if my um tempo and a Chalorando stuff makes sense um Picks up a little. Okay, it's too much. It's a little. It's, so I've 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 just I took a, a, some guesses here at at uh, how much to it accelerate uh the tempo there and it's I, I just pushed a little far so i'm gonna do less um yeah i'll try not to talk over the audio um will i get copyright claims on this video i might um i i, I might do i i'm hoping that it doesn't just you know get stopped and taken down i'll watch out for that um that's always a drag but uh yeah it's worth a shot um at least at least to do it live as as long as it'll be allowed i mean lila's um you know she's a juno award winning you know it's it's uh, it's a big. She's a big deal, especially in Canada, and she's pretty, you know, gaining a lot of recognition now in the states and everything. So I think her music may be, um, they may control it <laughs> a bit um, uh, in in terms of copyright. Uh, sometimes you can get away with it if folks aren't too known, but I, I feel like she probably is known enough by um, folks for to where it might be a little challenging. I don't know. Um, so I'm just going to like make this more of a gradual, uh, sh gradual accelerando up to a slower ending tempo. What am I doing? I'm doing like four, uh, four beats per minute and up until this being the highest point. And then I've just got to slow it down. So I'll do like 122, 115, 1. Oh, 08 and then the last bar whatever um 100 and just see what that sounds like um tempo wise see if i made it here kind of seems like maybe she gets there seems about right and it's a it's a it's a more dramatic uh slow down it's a more dramatic slow down at the end so then i'll do i'll do like 92 to whatever 85 just see what that sounds like i, I also think it, it probably got to a f Yeah, that sounds like a good rit. Um, you have to manually, well, I have to manually do that stuff. I don't know if there's a slicker way to do it. I think it gets there sooner. So I, I think what's happening is it's it's uh, 98, 10, where am I typing now? Oh, I'm currently, um, uh, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. So my, uh, my piano thing is in the way. Oh, and this chart is in the way too. Oh, God. My moderator steps in once again to save the day because I forgot I wasn't supposed to cover this up. I've got this done. I need to make sure that I only deal in. Um, you got to make sure that I only deal in this kind of window right here. Yes, I was typing up here to change these. 
So I'm going to say this is 100. Let's get this there faster. Let's go 100, 106. Or I'm sorry, 106. So this I'm just trying to pace this at Celerando so later when we record it, it, it makes sense. Maybe even faster, 115. And then um, let's just get to 120. Yeah, and then we'll just we'll just like we'll just be there. Maybe 122, and then that'll be the end of the accelerando. Um, actually, that was pretty good. 126 was good. So let's just see what this sounds like now in comparison, and then we'll compare it to see if it's. And staying tap I'm gonna start the day I'm gonna start the um, retardando a little sooner. Um, and that's the last tweak I think I'll have to make. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get this bonk on so it sits in a little bit sooner there. And I think we're good. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, cool. Um, all right, that was very that was that was a little tedious, and because because actually, well, and then I'm gonna compare it, <laughs> compare it. So I'm just gonna compare it and see if I'm. Hey, sugar my joy, sugar my That's good. That's good. That's good. That's going to be fine. Yeah, yeah. I know I shouldn't try to talk over that. Sorry. Okay. Uh, we're good. Now this, uh, let's see. This section of blah, 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 blah. That's the same thing that happens every time. I'm going to just copy that to those spots. Um, where the whole tone thing goes on. That's here. Um... Um, oh, and I need treble clef because it looks ridiculous. There we go. Um, blah, 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 blah. Uh, move the multi written in the bass. Yeah, I think I probably ought to indicate that it starts uh, around that time, huh? Um, oh, and then there was one more of these to move. Okay. Now, um, and then her ending, by the way, let's see. Hard to tell where they do it. Yeah, so that's. Yeah, I mean those are. It's the same. It's the same thing. So she's doing. I doubt I want to write all these changes. <laughs> I mean, I kind of need to, don't I? Um, this is up the octave, and then. Yeah, I mean, I can just, <laughs> this is pretty easily transferable if I just move these around. Oh, that's interesting. So it stays, yeah, tricky. Uh, and then G7, and finally. I mean, it feels like. You 
It's not it's not F7. Crazy? Is there really not sevens in there? <laughs> ah, there's not sevens in there. That's much simpler. It's a pain. I'll delete them now. But that's... It's much better that those are triads at the end on this little flourish. Um, it seems to be the case. I, I feel like she's not playing sevens. Um, I'm just going to get rid of all the changes I think this looks a little chaotic um okay and then just like um it's just that kind of um with blah, 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 with filling and you know just play f5 at the end I think um, so I think that's what they're really doing. So it's just F5. So the rest of these have all been triads. Dare I? I guess I'll put them. I guess I'll put them. I mean, some people, it might be useful to like not have to think about reading the three notes So um, and being able to just see that these are all triads. Um, yeah, I think that's what's going on there. But then again, it could be that I'm hearing a weird delay. <laughs> on my thing that I'm transcribing. Um, so, okay. There you go. Now, um, I do have some, um, this I'm gonna leave, it'll look better. Um, I do have information uh, from her uh, piano chart that I'm gonna refer to for a moment and kind of fill in some of this, oh, I can't put it there. Can't put it there, Marsh. Uh, you can put it here. Okay. Anyway, I don't want to. I don't want to put her. Uh, it's. It's like it feels inappropriate to put her. Um, you know, gigging chart on the screen. Um, it's her chart. She trusted me with it, so I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna uh, expose that uh, to the world. But um, um, I do need to kind of get some of this input um let's see so she has actually you know what no i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna go back and, and lift the melody first um and i'll there's a good reason for that but i it just it, it'll help me stay coordinated there's there's some differences in the form of her chart and i want to kind of be consistent with it so Sugar, because I'm also tired. okay so i'm just gonna put everything in the solo part <laughs> I love it when I'm on the wrong keypad setting. Okay. Sing again. Okay. Yeah. So you know a lot of sixteenth notes in this in, in this tune. Yeah, it's very cool to get. <laughs> it's very cool if if uh, the artist is willing to share their charts with me so I don't have to just guess on the transcription. Um, and it, it really does make me more inclined not to do my own thing with it too much, you know, just to honor honor the hipness of the original tune, make it work for a vocal jazz group, you know. Um, we did that with Satellite. Uh, uh, that, that was Lila's tune. If you don't know about Satellite, I would take a second to uh, go listen to that demo. It's on our website. Um, it's one of the new tunes from last year. Um, and uh, I still have last year's new stuff as one of the main headers on my website um, because of because it's been weird. I don't know if you've been around for the last couple of years, but it's been a little weird, and not a lot of choirs have. <laughs> you know, there's there's been a lot of choirs that kind of took hiatuses uh, that are now getting back to it, and maybe they didn't even come look last year for new charts. And so, for those folks, they're gonna have like a hundred new things from my website to choose from. Um, so uh, I wanted to make sure that they knew about that stuff. So Satellite, which Julia arranged, and I kind of helped with, uh, you know, the logistics on and everything, and, of course, put the demo together with her for, um, that's another Lila tune. And, yeah, we, you know, we had her chart for that. Um, has an original artist ever been on my live stream? Yeah, I mean, I guess, you know, uh, uh, when Christine Tavares-Mocha and I have worked together, those are 
some of her the streams we've done together she wrote those songs um and then we arranged it together um that's something um i'm not sure if i've done it in any other circumstances though so yeah it's good it's a it's a hip thing i dig it sugar because i'm also tired of sugar because i'm on inspired sugar okay sugar sugar um because I'm so I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about raising, in fact, I'm pretty sure I'm going to ultimately, after I get everything transcribed and in place, I'm going to raise this key. Uh, I think um, because <laughs> the bass needs to have this effect. And as it is, it's got a bunch of low E flats in the bass, uh, which are, as you can see in red, and if you know about the bass, it's not playable like that. Uh, unless somebody has a, a bass with like a low C um, uh, or tunes it down or something. And I just don't want to require for future groups that they do that. So I, I really love a bunch of, uh, you know, F7s and C7s rather than, you know, D7s necessarily. Um, but I do think it's probably going to need to go up a whole step just to make it more playable by a bass to still have it on the bottom of the instrument and all that stuff. John Stafford's in the house. All right, John Stafford, everybody. Um, and, oh, is he gone from my thing? Or, oh, no, there he is. There he is. Uh, hey, everybody. So John is uh, the commissioner on this chart. He's the commish. Um, and I really want to thank him um, for uh, for doing this, doing this piece. Yes, uh, it is a commission. This is for um, uh, Kansas City, Kansas Community College. Um, it'll be available your own um, in a year then. So this is one of those where I'll, I'll write it, and then it'll sit uh, sit dormant in my world while Kansas City, Kansas Community College and the and the standard excellent vocal jazz group um, goes out and will gig it and perform with it uh, all year. It's a lot of what I do in the summer. Um, although I do have a few more to write that'll go straight into the pipeline. Um, that'll get us closer to our like around 50 new charts this year um, maybe a little bit more I've got another Lila tune that I want to write um, Julie and I at, we might all, we're going to write off stream but we're going to do a Billie Eilish tune um, and I've got um, a chart on dancing in the dark that I'll probably do that's the standard version not the um, what Bruce Springsteen <laughs> it's a different tune um, uh, it's a standard, and uh, I'll probably write that. I'm going to write some easy charts on that. Probably do that on stream, I think. Um, so, yeah, a few of those are going to go right into the catalog. And then otherwise, I'm, I'm getting my commission writing going this year. I have um, around, I think, 12 maybe commissions to write this year. It's fewer than normal, uh, I would think. But sometimes those they sort of come in late. Uh, folks just, you know, get started with their new year in August and decide they want to chart. So, um, It'll probably work out to be about a normal about a normal year. Great to see you, uh, John. And yeah, I hope some of your students are able to to check it out. I won't be writing ensemble stuff for a little while. And like I said, I'm 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 probably going to put this up a whole step. Um, not that not that a, uh, a soprano alto solo or particularly alto soloist for you couldn't hang with low Fs that she sings on this thing, but it really is. It's like I said, so that so that the the bass for your group and future groups, the, the, the electric bass doing all this palm muted stuff or whatever is is actually able to play it without having to do a weird drop thing. Um, so yeah, I'll probably put it up. I think in, I mean, I could actually stand to just put it up a half step, but I really don't love D flat. So I'm, I'm guessing maybe D. I think this tune might ultimately be a bunch of D7 stuff. Um, so it'll be a little brighter sound. Because I'm uninspired. So. Because I'm also tired. Okay, so I'll start writing the lyrics in so I know where I am. <laughs> so I'm writing sugar. Um, I can tell you that she writes sugar uh, <laughs> on the top of her lead sheet because she knows that's how she's, uh, um, uh, you know, that, that's how she knows she's going to sing it. That's the style she's singing it in, but, uh, but sugar. <laughs> and we'll, we'll let the group uh, performing it decide how they want to say it. Sugar. Probably should. I think that's how we'll do the demo. Good luck in advance to the bassist. Indeed, um, it's 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 funky. You know, swung sixteenths, and um, it's all this palm muted stuff, of course. So I I don't know that that's necessarily super challenging on its own. And um, 
it's it's kind of a repeated figure that that happens throughout that you know so um you know john and i were hoping to aim this chart at maybe level three definitely no more than three and a half or four trying to keep it pushed down because we'd like it to you know he's he's got the standard for this uh that he would like it to be performable by lots of folks in the future i would too of course we want to we want to um be able to sell the chart when we get Lila's music out there. She would like that too. So I don't want to make this overly difficult, but there's certain things in this chart that are challenging. Um, one of those is the rhythmic stuff. Um, uh, kind of not, the solo's not so much, but reading all these sixteenths may be intimidating. Um, I did think about making it, you know, eighth notes and, and calling it double time, um, but ultimately ultimately have gone away from that i i could change it at some point it becomes kind of a pain to turn it into a halftime chart after you've written it but or a cut time chart but this opening thing the whole the whole tone thing i mean it's a great warm-up for a group i th i'm gonna uh, I, i'm not exactly sure um how i want to write this um in order to keep it in this slightly easier space what it might be is sixths i might i might do Oops. I might do I might do that with the group and just have all the tenor basses on one part and soprano altos on another part. So it's it's not trying to do. But since I have the commissioner here, he can always say, "Ah, give us four parts." And I'll do four parts <laughs> cuz that is what a commission is. <laughs> Sugar, because I'm oh so tired. So, because I'm oh so tired. Is that what she's saying? Yep. That's what she's written. So I do have her lyric sheet here, thankfully. Because I'm oh so tired. Um, sh this is a list tune for sure. You know, like list concept of lyric writing. Sugar. Oops. Because I'm uninspired. Because I'm also tired of sugar, because I'm uninspired. Oh, I just did the wrong rhythm. Bing, bong, bong. Uninspired. Your own says it needs to sound right and be recognizable and be playable at the same time. Keep the right balance. Yeah, right? Exactly. I agree. Your own, um, uh, Julia and I just happened to be on f on YouTube scrolling on Apple TV last night, and we saw a, a walkthrough, a, like an, a, a, a sort of red light district walkthrough of Amsterdam. Um, I just, God, man, we just we just miss <laughs> we miss that so much. We loved we loved our time in the Netherlands, um, but we really, really, um, yeah, we really absolutely love staying in uh, the red light district it was so fantastic and hip down there maybe it's like touristy to people who live there <laughs> but we we sure loved it it was really nice to watch that video again remember our good times that we had because i'm uninspired sugar because it works so fast okay it's pretty much because it works so fast man this is so insidious this lyric because it works so fast works so fast um sugar so sweet it's gonna help me last yeah i remember this part. because it works so fast sugar so sweet it's gonna help me i mean sugar so sweet it's gonna yeah <laughs> sugar so sweet it's gonna oh what is she with the list <laughs> I can't remember if she did that straight or she swing it. Because it works so fast, sugar so sweet, it's gonna help me laugh. Help me laugh. I mean, it's that with a scoop, right? Help me last. Whew. Sits too close to home, this lyric. <laughs> Oops. Sugar so sweet, it's gonna help me last yeah help me last a couple extra beats there um
a uh, little extra groove. So yeah, John, this is not necessarily solo, even though I'm writing it into the solo. And this is kind of in transcription mode, as you probably would imagine. Sugar, because it didn't play. Sugar. Because I didn't plan. God, this is going to be therapy as we do this. Sugar. I mean, seriously. It's really... I mean... John, I think you mentioned this the other day. It's like it's kind of a mental health tune. And it really is a mental physical health tune. Because I did it. Mm. Um, it's good. Sugar, because it did. Sugar. I mean, this is a little longer. I'll give this a little extra juice there. Um, sugar. Because I didn't plan. Man. Genius to help me understand. Yeah, I'm confused. It's so, screw it. I'm just going to have some sugar. Cause it didn't plan sugar. Didn't plan. That's kind of a, I'm going to put the inflection there. Didn't plan. Right? Cause it didn't plan sugar to help me mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sugar, sugar, huh, 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 huh. Whoops. Sugar pop pop to help me under. Sugar pop pop to help me. I can't remember the rhythm if she if she syncopate that. Sugar to help me understand. Sugar. Yeah. Um. Under. Whoops. Understand. So much of arranging a chart when the original chart is already good is about transcription and then deciding who does what, uh, deciding what to keep from the rhythm section and deciding how to represent multiple hip interesting layers into, and then putting that into three parts. I'm gonna stop singing. So much of it is that um, it's, that's not very glamorous. Like this arrangement, the, there's nothing really glamorous about the process. It may be interesting, I hope, to folks to, to see, oh yeah, he's just lifting what, what she sings. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I trust her phrasing um, and uh, could make different decisions at different times on, you know, I could simplify something if, if it seems particularly necessary. Maybe if the ensemble takes one of these things, I'll extend it a little bit. Um, and they won't have exactly the same phrasing, you know. Um, but yeah, this is um, this is what we're doing. Uh, so we're lifting <laughs> we're lifting the this part, and then really, once uh, you know, once I've got that, I'll go in and I'll I'll, f I'll figure out what the piano's done with everything. I'll get the ensemble, you know, happening. Work out what's th there are going to be certain things that we add, like background figures, you know, just little extra things to for groove and flavor and stuff, and to make up for the fact that um, they're not necessarily going to have, uh, performing groups aren't necessarily going to have a, uh, an organist, um, you know, uh, there's, there's horns in this arrangement that, that the vocals can serve that purpose as well. So that's, that's kind of the, the current tack. So I can make it do some sugar, so I can make it do. So this is interesting inflection here why 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 does that lyric look weird um why is this lyric lower why not up we um interesting i hope that's not weird uh so i can make it through this is through I don't think I'll keep all of that. I'll just keep the I'll keep the fall, the plop. So I can make it through uh, sugar tastes sweeter when I'm missing you. Yeah, so again, emotional eating. <laughs> sugar tastes sugar tastes sweeter. Sweeter when I'm missing you. Right? Is that what she does? Can make it do sugar day sweeter when I'm missing you. Yeah, and she puts a space. Sugar tastes sweeter when I'm missing you. And then that goes on, but sugar tastes sweeter when I'm 
missing. Is that? Yeah, that's okay. And then she does. So, so I'm gonna write three off like that. Um, with this being, uh, we have this little glide line that we can write, and I think that'll um, that'll make sense there. Also, put a little slur on there. Yeah. Okay. And then we're good through C. Hydrated. All, all you guys. Because I'm also sad, sugar. Because I feel so bad. Yeah, oh so sad, oh so tired in the first verse. Okay, so I'm going to grab the content here and uh, some of it may be similar rhythms that I, don't, I just kind of edit. Um, I th think that it doesn't quite work this whole way, but I'm just going to bring it over and then I'll just because I'm oh so sad, right? And I'm gonna double check it real quick before I just let it go like that. Um, sugar, because I'm oh so sad, sugar. Oh so sad. I mean, she kind of, maybe I missed that she did the plop uh, articulation on the first, first bit of the melody. Did she do that? Sugar, because I'm oh so tired. Oh yeah, oh so tired. Yeah, yeah, she's like, bluesy down into let me listen to these again then i mean yeah actually this i need to be consistent with um it's actually the major third with the big old scoop because it works so fast yeah i just wasn't in the frame of mind where i was thinking about our inflections now all of a sudden i'm as of this me i started paying attention to that so sweet it's gonna help me last yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. That's cool. Okay, now up to t uh, D. Sugar, because I'm also sad. Sugar, because I feel so bad. Sugar, sugar. I mean, because I've just oh so sad, feel so bad. I mean, I know this is really basic, but this is just truth here. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> I mean, it's just truth. Oof. Preach. Lila. All right. Boop, boop, boop. Um. Sugar, so I can just forget. Again. Just forget. Yeah. Numbing, uh, dissociation, that kind of thing. Yep. Depersonalization, maybe even. I mean, it gets really dark. Um, so I can just forget. Uh. Because my mind is set. That's the next lyric. Because my mind is set. I can just forget sugar. Because my mind is set. Okay. So it's it's more it's more like this one. Sugar. Because my mind is mind is set. My mind is set. Golly. Oh yeah, I see what she did. She just gets right to the B flat the second time through. So it's like a little extension the first time, but she goes right to B flat. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, we put that B flat stuff and save ourselves a little time notating that and then double check it. What are we doing? Because I'm lonely still. Sugar, because I'm lonely. Because I'm lonely still. You know, it's, I mean, the vibe of this tune, I mean, it, it's gonna, it's upbeat and it's gonna feel fun and everything. It's insidious underneath, obviously. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, I think that it's empowering in a way. Um, you know, it, take, it takes a little bit of the, the heat off the anxiety of a, tune, of a lyric like this and an idea like this. 
still. She takes a nice breath there, and I'll leave, I'll put that in. Cause I'm lonely still, sugar, cause there's a hole to fill. So he holds this out, sugar. Da, 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 da. Um, what is it? Because, because there's a hole to fill. Tension between the vibe and the lyrics. Yeah, absolutely. Is that, um, what's that called? Um, is that Ludo narrative dissonance? Is that what that's called? I feel like it's a game, uh, thing. Like a, um, I think it's like a video game design concept that I've heard about. Ludo narrative dissonance. Is that what that is? <laughs> uh, sugar's a hole to fill. Yeah. Okay. Um, it feels like it's too. I don't like where that sits. I guess it makes sense. It's because this is too. This is a bigger word. All right. Going on. Because it don't cost much. Because it don't cost much. I mean, it's all of the stuff. Because it don't cost much. Literally. It's priced. I mean, it's this is this is like a classist issue, you know. <laughs> As well. Don't cost much. I mean, it's expensive to eat healthily. Yeah, a, a lot of times. I mean, it it really is. Uh, especially you know the protein aspect of it. Mm. Unless it's just, you know, unless it's just beans, right? But if you try not to do carbs, yikes. Don't cost much. Sugar so sweet is like a human touch. Sugar so sweet is like a human touch? Okay. Maybe. Sugar so sweet. Yeah. Jeez, man. Sugar so, so sweet it's like a human. You can tell that I hadn't fully analyzed the lyrics on this. Beforehand. Okay, now how long is she holding that over that next section? It's like a human touch. Yeah, like bar and a half. Cool. Um, so sweet. It's like a. I mean, God, so sweet. It's like a human touch. Hurt. Hurt, really. Seriously. <laughs> okay. Now. That's going to have to be a solo in this spot, um, for sure. I mean, I don't know. At least that last figure will. Because um, we need the group to do this. So. Whoops. I can't. <laughs> So it's uh yeah, how about that? It's, it's uh, the the chain the chord is D flat seven sus. The first note is. I mean she's really outlining. It's, I mean is she really wait? What does she have in this chart? Oh you know what she does. So, well, okay, so here's, here's what I'm seeing in her. Um, she has uh, E flat. Okay, yeah, it's a little hard to read from here. Uh, ding. So it's definitely more interesting than just uh, just D flat seven sus four. Um, there's a lot actually going on here, and I'm yeah. I, basically, I'm gonna write the D flat seven sus, but nobody's actually gonna sit there and play the sus the whole time um, since the piano is gonna have this notated part, and then I'll I'll make sure that whatever happens in the ensemble, if I can make that go along with it, that'd be good. Right. 
pretty sure I remember that. How long do they hold that? Is it like a, is it just off on? Just off on, just four, I guess. I'm trying to imagine a group because this is a group doing it. So it's going to, is it going to be too like precise and silly? But sipping, yeah. I mean, these are, I almost feel like I need to include sipping your so sipping your so sipping your sipping your so sipping your so i mean all this these are all staccato yeah and e yeah these are short and e yeah man <laughs> Yep, those are those are short. Fine. Sipping ya. Yeah. Sipping. Whoops. Yeah, I mean it's your, but it's yeah. It's yeah. Sipping ya yeah, so <laughs> with a big S. Da, and and E and E. I mean it's gotta be glottal. And E and Eden. You know, and E. And Eden, she goes, eat in your pie, uh, your, your pie. Um, no one can get in your way. I mean, I know it's coming here. I, no one, oh, I'm just gonna write it. This is, this is, this is weird. I, well, actually, I'm gonna end up transposing this. Off on four, maybe, if I remember right. Um, yeah. Way. So this is this is all that, but then you get a little extra scoop here because of the rearticulated same note, right? Um, go as long as I thought they did. That's kind of my ensemble mentality, I think. Thinking of longer because we like the chords so much, but um, for now, I'll just transcribe it like that. No one can get, so no one can get. So it's very deliberate um, phrasing. No one can get in you. Um, no one can get in your way. Yeah, those are sh in your way. In. Actually, it's just in. No one, no one to. Yeah, I always think of that as two words, too. It is, right? <laughs> no one to get in your way. And then I didn't mean to have that. Um. Oh, yeah, I better finish this. So. Yeah, this, I know this looks weird, but this is this is interesting. Like she's written, um, in fact, her left hand piano seems to be her left hand piano, and she's playing piano. She's a fantastic uh, pianist um, on this on this record she's playing. Um, so yeah, it's all that stuff. And then here's what else she's done. Really smart composition here. I love this idea. Although I need to make sure I represent it accurately. So this is. Uh, where is this? Sorry, I'm looking for it, Lila. Um, there we go. So it's so hard to read. Uh, G sharp and E. Okay, and I'll double check it against the recording. Yep, and then to D seven or B seven rather. Yeah, that's that's awesome. Um, she, yeah, yeah, she called these all the same notes that Sibelius is calling it. Um, all right, just gonna, I'm gonna listen to this again. Yeah, I can't have fun.
Yeah, that's exactly what that is. Holy crap, that's so cool. And then this is the same. Yeah, she's doing the same pattern. Such a such a hip thing. When you listen to it the first time, you just miss the subtlety of, of, of something like this. It's so cool, though. Um, and then what? Okay, so here, when it goes to E flat, she's got... Seven alt with yeah, she's just doing this E seven alt. Yeah, that's how she's notated it too. Um. Yeah, that's what's going on. Okay, cool, cool. Do we like everything? Still look good on the stream. Okay. Still excellent condition, I hope. Thank you. All right, uh, what's the second half of the lyric here? Dip in the honey, Dip in the honey. now we're flying high. Dip in the honey. Not dipping. You might think that, but I have her lyric sheet here. in the honey now we're fly in high no better end to the day oh no better end to the day, no end to the day. yeah Cutting off on three. Hey, hey. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So same deal. Uh, we're going to scoop this to get that effect. And then this is all slurred across. No bet. Which, which one just short? Well, I'm just going to write the lyrics first. Um, no bet. Whoops. Not to end to the day. Um... No better. So that's I th these these staccatos are actually really deliberate with uh, how to pronounce this stuff. I mean, right? I almost feel like adding an extra note that says "Don't miss the difference between staccatos and non-staccatos." Okay. Cool. Cool. Bam, 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 ba -do -ba -do -ba -ba -do. Then what? <laughs> so, yeah, for sure the group is going to do some stuff here. Um, I wonder, should I lift that? Hey. Yeah, I think that would, be, that would work great. So, Ba, two, three, ba, and uh, one, two, ba, ba, dee, up. Ba, 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 that's it. Da, da, da. Ba, ba, dee, up. Ba, ba, dee, up. Ba. Ba, ba, dee, up. Ba. Ba. How long does that last? Yeah. Ba. I mean, that's what they're doing. Now, I think the difference in this chart, if we're going for level three, is that I'm just going to write a standard. That's hard enough. That's hard enough for level three. Again, the standard is a level five group. The commission is uh, to make it singable by other groups in the future. Um, and so that's the idea. Yeah, some improv. Uh, yeah, very likely. And of course, um, this is something that uh, they can do at KCKCC. Dad, so this would be dad. Yeah, 
How long is that? Hell? Is that just two? That'd be kind of cool to. Um, and then. Actually, we're gonna we're gonna make this a little tighter. Cut this off on two, and then do have have the uh, bass tenors do. Bum, 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 dun, dun, dun. Um, dun, 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 dun. I don't know. Usually, I just use. Well, I actually, think I can use syllables here for that. It sounds like a dun 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 to me. D U N T. Dare I? I've never used that syllable before, but that's just what it dun 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 dun. That's what it feels like. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Dun. Uh, QA with the group. Oh, question answer with the ensemble. Yeah, yeah. Is only four bars. Well, this little figure is. Um, yeah, we. I mean, may be able to add, you know, add some parts. You know, add something to the form in a spot like this. This would be a reasonable place to do it. It's it's a minute thirty into the song, so it seems reasonable uh, to to add that. Dot, 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 dot. I mean, I'm putting dot at the end, but dun, 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 dun. I kind of want it to be a little uh, instead of dot, dot, like dot, dun, 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 dun. I, feel, I want it to be a little more closed off here. Dun, 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 dun. But dun has something to it. I know it. It looks problematic. I understand. Um. Dun, 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 dun. If I add an H, I'm going to add an H. <laughs> uh, what's the what's the total um, runtime of the song? Could be an optional repeat. Yeah, it could do. I need to write something different here. Um, in that case. Um, yeah, like on the fourth bar that like turns it back around. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it could be. Yeah, John, if you're if you're still on board, let me know if if you would uh, value a, a more extensive like improv break here, and then I'll just put it here. <laughs> And then these could actually be backgrounds for soloing that could happen during this spot. And then I'll just add a little thing for the bass to play here. Because otherwise it's boot it, two, three, kakaku, shuga, and then it goes back. But this could sort of be like second ending, um, theoretically. You know, this this boot it could be the second ending. It's this. Sugar. And I don't have to do exactly the same thing anyway. I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish it like it is and then maybe come back and have blowing. So I'll just have the spread and altos do that. Oh, he's got some people. He's got, yeah, he's got real talented people. But I mean, they'll also be showcased in the rest of his set too. So that might not be the uh, the intention of this tune. Uh, if I do that, I mean, that's kind of a, that's a cool figure. 
That's what this is, basically, except it's slightly different notes, but a yes to an improv section. I have lots of options for instrumental improv here. Oh, cool, 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 cool. And four horn players among the vocalists. Yeah, there's one of them. There's a lot that we could do. Da, da, da. Um, okay, so we'll do that then. Yeah, so I'm not writing the same dominant chord there. And then, yeah, for future sales, of course. Um, all right, so we're going to add it uh, because I, uh, I have the word from John that he would like that. So we're going to add that. So um, double bar here. Um, I would like. I'm just going to. I'll just what I'll do what I'll do is I'll say um, I'll just leave this open um, I'll just leave this open here and then um, we'll record it like two times um, and we'll just have these figures second time like um, backgrounds um, it's writing in two places and I really wonder why last time only weird that it just did that in two places and I've never seen that before um, note to self for later yeah yeah no uh, as you can see uh, John you, you, you probably saw that he, he just he's just uh, saying he'd like to have some improv here so uh, so let's do it let's say that this is uh, or wait I need the line tool and first ending and really this is um, yeah first ending um, and I'll just make a note for you guys um, repeat uh, has needed for open solos um, um, repeat is needed for open solos take second ending on cue right that makes sense and then uh, make that look small and give it to everybody oops that's very small that's probably 4.5 um, and I'll put it up here and then going to give it to the manner and to the, the everybody and then we'll make it look, we'll look pretty later. Okay. So, uh, and then we get a second ending. So this is last time essentially is what we're going to call this. But, um, and then I'm only putting this figure here and I will say that, okay. Marginal um, that this figure that I'm about to write. Da, 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 da. Um, that that is level three. Um, boom, two, three. Da, da, da. I mean, I think it's doable. <laughs> Just all dots here. Maybe I'll even have a little snappy crescendo on it. Um, and then, yeah, the first the first time bass figure. Um, um, you know what we should do is just. We should just do this, actually. Uh, just have it be a two-bar figure, and then and then and then we just end it like that the, the the last time the way she does. So that's cool, and we're doing it. So what do we have? Um, yeah. So instrumental or vocal solos. I'll just make the note. Take it um, open if you like. Um, I always do this wrong after I haven't done it for a while. I haven't been writing for a little while. I, I mean, I've been in other publishing mode. There you go. Um, 
vocal or instrumental solos. Open, last time on cue. Now I've said that already. Um, so I actually don't need to put it there. I'm gonna put it here instead. Um, yeah, okay, bing bong, bing bong, bing. Eventually I'll have to ride over this uh, part anyway. Okay, um, how do we like this? I mean, I just, this is the first like ensemble thing I've written, but. Oh yeah, and of course, um, it'll be da da da, but um, I'm gonna write in, or I need to add, um, how do I do this? God dang it, there it is. I just always expect my hands to uh, <laughs> to react. Okay, so if I did if I did play this, let me just see the, how it's gonna work in the recording. And then let's see if there's any other colors we can get. Sugar. Actually, you want to sing this all the way to three? Let's do that all the way to three, and then um, it'll be kind of oh, whoops! It'll be kind of interesting sounding um, with like just it's all, all right with. Ben Whitman is playing in the drums down there, her husband. Um, I'll write what he's doing. Um, and uh, that'll be kind of cool with no piano, no bass, like kind of ha that having dropped out on that chord. Yeah, that'll be an interesting effect. Uh, that's cool. Okay, what else we got? Sugar, because it's on my brain. Sugar, when I can feel the shame. Um, uh, is there a difference in the bass part on the second time? Really? Bum, bum, dun. I might have to go back in and make sure that that lines up with her hits in the piano. That's interesting. I'm not totally sure. Uh, we're going to work on that. Piano, guitar, sax, trombone, horn players. Um, cool, cool. Okay. Awesome. I lost my cursor. There it is. All right. So um, when I write that piano part, I'm going to double check that everything really matches. Um, the This is from, I believe, yeah, this is like a half verse, half length verse. And so I can take this for reference from here and it yeah, 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 because she's going to get into the sip in your soda bit again. And so I can move all this over, and that's going to match up, I think. Let's see how that does. Yep, sip in your soda. Okay, cool. And it's the same. Yeah, it's the same lyric the second time, too. Okay. Play each second time. What was that? Um, okay. Um because it's on my brain. All right, let me get these lyrics in. Because it's on my brain. Because it's on my brain. Yeah, she does a bing. Not a lot of not a lot of accidents from Lila on her record. She's really precise and intentional. My brain. You know, like the consistency in that bing. That's pretty cool. Sugar. Because it's on my brain, sugar, when I can feel the shame. Oof. Oof. Sugar, when I can feel the shame. What is the cause and what is the effect? Man. The shame, sugar, because you disapprove. 
Sugar what? Because you disapprove. Because you disapprove. Mm. God, sugar's so sweet, it's gonna help me move. Now, I have a sugar so sweet, I'm gonna steal that. Yeah. I'm just going to steal it from this help me last. It's more, it's kind of like that. So I'm just going to steal it and move it over here. Uh, it'll be blah, 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 blah. Where is that? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Here it is. Sugar so sweet is going to help me move. Oh, that was about the improv four bars instruction for singers to sing only each time. Um, background's last time only. Yeah, exactly. And it's, and in, in our demos case, it's going to be the second time. But um, Mober. Move. Um, now, how does she handle getting to that next line? Because you disapprove. Sugar so sweet is going to help me move. Sugar. She blows right. She gets right into it. Sugar? Okay. Sugar, because you comfort me. Sugar, because you comfort me. Now she's talking to the sugar. Right? Oh, yeah. Whoops. Because, because, because you comfort me. You know, you set me free. Sugar, because you comfort me, sugar, you know you set me free. Yeah, sugar pop. So this one is, is quick. Sugar pop. Actually, I'm going to rewrite it so it looks lined up correctly. Sugar, oops, big problem. What have I done? Let's start over. Sugar, uh, you know, yeah, sugar pop, pop, you know, you, sugar pop. Because you set me free. And you know what? Set me free. I don't know if I caught this before, but in B flat, I wasn't doing the major third on the way down with the scoop. But that sounds like what she's doing. Me, sugar, you know you set me free. Me free. I mean, it is what she's doing. Um, yeah. Uh, so I better go find that in B flat. Where was I? Hole to fill is probably this hole, hole to fill. So let's just let's just make that consistent. Um, understand. Yeah. Okay. Have a meeting. Be back soon. All right, sir. Have your meeting. I'll be, I'll be done with the chart by the time you get back. How about that? <laughs> um, that is not true. Okay. Uh, because it doesn't. Uh, let's see. Because you set me free, we stopped at. Um, free sugar. Well, I can feel the leg. When I can feel the lack, uh, okay. when I can feel the lack, this is all, the, this is all the same rhythm here. I can feel the lack. Sugar gets sweeter when you don't look back. Sugar gets, this is insidious. Ooh. Wow. Okay. So what's she doing? Well, I can feel the lack. Okay, yeah, she's, she says uh, sugar's so sweeter, not get sweeter. So her, her lyric sheet is different. Um, sugar's so sweeter, like so much sweeter, right? 
sweeter. I mean, when you don't look. Man, I mean, I really I feel personally attacked here. Um. <laughs> okay, sip in your soda. Now, this is going to be really high when we raise it again. I, I think I'm actually not going to do that same key because when we put it in her key, in a higher key later for the bass, it's going to be too much. <laughs> that um so now we're at letter i and we are at a at a further chorus give me my chocolate and and, and eventually we're going to move into the sugar so sweet sugar blah blah sugar this this sugar my this sugar my this and it's like a re encapsulation of everything she said right so uh, give me my chocolate my fudge and my cake so yeah i mean we're it's it's higher now by a whole step um is it all yeah, it is. So if I do this, all right, I'm off, <laughs> off to do some other things too. What other things? Great to see you, buddy. Thanks for coming along. And uh, yeah, we'll miss you in trusting in, but uh, um, we will do our best to have a good time in spite of it. So <laughs> take care, buddy. Thank you for being on the stream. Um, all right, everybody else out there, now you got you to gotta step up. Your own can't be the only one talking to me. <laughs> got to say hey. All right. Uh, no, you, you really don't. You can lurk. It's totally cool. That would be my style. <laughs> um, Sit. Yeah. So I've, I've just gone through, if you didn't notice, and just transposed the previous figure up a whole step. I mean, this is just, it's just that. It's just... Um, uh, you know, she just... This is just new lyrics on the same chorus figure. Um, does she call it her chorus? She does. Yeah. This is, this is a song where I find the, um, personally to me, the, the, the verses are more like w outside of the tune after I've heard it and then I go away. Um, the thing I think of is the verse. Like she spends more time with that sugar. So it's like to me, the verse has more of a chorusy quality to it because of the memorability of it. Um, but of course, you know, she knows what her verse. Is. I mean, in the structure of the tune, this is the chorus, obviously. Give me my chalk. All right, I'm gonna have to check the articulation here. My chocolate, my fudge, my fudge, and my cake, and my cake. Nobody's body but mine. I mean, right? Nobody's body but mine. Hey, I can do what I want. No one can tell me it's all a mistake because I don't feel nothing but fine. Yeah, that's called an addiction, my friends. Um, no one can tell me it's all a mistake. Oops. What have I done? All a mistake. All right. Now, um... Oh, it cause, 
Yeah, and then she must have another. Let's see. Nobody's I'm just going to have to, she kind of like goes, Cause, but I'm just going to have to give her a note. And it's new notes. That's going to be tough. I, it's really high. We'll step up. So I don't need that scoop there. Um, I need that. I need a slur here. And then I'm going to. This is that move where I did the. Um, there's this glide. What do they call this? A slide, yeah. It's just, <laughs> it's just a slide, um, cause I don't feel nothing but fine, my friends. Um, feel nothing but Heidi. Hi, I've been watching silently for a little bit, but I'm excited to sing this when we get it. Hey, all right. Thank you. Good to see you. I'm glad uh, glad you're in the standard. And uh, um, so that's a member of the group that I'm writing the chart for, if you didn't put that uh, together. So yeah, awesome. Well, I'm excited to write it for you. It should be, uh, should be cool. Thanks for joining the stream. Yeah, that's going to be, what, I mean, what are we going to, what, what? I, maybe it's just, it's probably just going to be a half step, isn't it? I'm probably just going to only have to put this up. A, I'm going to have to only put this up a half step um, to not make it just chaos for the sopranos there. Da, 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 da. I mean, it's like the melody. Uh, I'll put some harmony on this um, for the rest of the choir, ultimately. Um, and then, what do we get to? <laughs> Now, I'm going to call this, this is a new rehearsal letter, even though it's only four bars, to me that's worthy of a rehearsal letter. Okay, sugar my friend, um, uh, I'm going to go ahead and, I'm going to actually ex no, I I th I don't think I want to write in the and all that, but I'll just write in. Um, I'll, I'll I'll give space for a little vocal fill, vocal improv fill for the soloist before they whatever they want to do before you know something bluesy or something before they come in with sugar my sugar my friend sugar my bowl. Is this not a group thing? Da, 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 I feel like that's what that is. Okay, we're going to see, but uh, yeah, I have to think about what the choir's going to do, but, but I, I have a sense that maybe that's what's going. Sugar, my friend. My friend, sugar, my bow. Sugar, my bow. Sugar comma, my friend. That's right, Lila. <laughs> my friend, sugar, my foe, comma. Sugar, my, okay, how do you phrase all this? Sugar, my foe, sugar, my fast. Foe, sugar, my, okay. Sugar, my foe, sugar, my fast. Sugar, my foe. Sugar my fast, sugar my fast. Um, I'm gonna go sugar my fast. I'm just gonna 
see if I can be consistent with that. Um, Fast. Sugar my slow, sugar my <laughs> slow, yeah. Slow, sugar my slow. So another glide, or another slide. I keep saying glide. Uh, another slide. Sugar my slow. Sugar my high, sugar my low high, sugar my slow, sugar my high, sugar my sugar my. Uh, wait, timing, wait. Slow, sugar my high, sugar my high, dun ba Whoops. What part of the keyboard am I on? Sugar my high, sugar my high. I'm good. At, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna make sure that it kind of matches the harmony enough. <laughs> I missed the comma. I missed the comma. My high comma, sugar comma, my low comma. Sure, I better get HP. Hello, sugar my stop, sugar my go. Sugar my stop. And she stops. Sugar my, sugar my stop. Uh, okay. Sugar my, sugar my. So it's only the first time. Sugar my friend. And I'll, I'll, I'll be, it's consistent enough later that, yeah, that it works. Sugar my go, sugar my go, sugar my go. So another one of those. Getting a lot of use out of the slide today. Uh, sugar my stop, sugar my go, sugar, comma, my go. Um, sugar my good, sugar my bad. Sugar my go, sugar my go. Wait, 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 wait. Why did I think? Wait, 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 wait. Sugar, my friend. Sugar. Oh, I see. I see. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> the warning came in just as I realized it. I'm like, why am I already at... <laughs> Why am I already at the bee boo doo 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 doo? Because I'm riding in halftime right now. Oh, this is uh, this is gonna make those YouTube compilation videos of embarrassing moments for vocal jazz arrangers. Oh my God! Thanks, Ryan. <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. You know what? I, I I think I can do. I've got this have note values thing. Can I do this? Oh my God, that's funny. That's messed up. All right, have the note values. What does it do? Um, copy all objects in the bar in a new score. Oh, weird. Okay. <laughs> hey, cool. All right, it did it. All right, all right. It copied that and then check this out. Okay. <laughs> ah, it worked. Thank you, Ryan Espinosa. You are the hero of the moment here with uh with my buddy Yaron not around he usually catches that stuff for me um <laughs> yeah but it's that easy I, I will say I like that about uh Sibelius when you when you start doing a dumb thing like that now 
Have I been doing that? One can tell. You know what it was? I was just into this, like, no, I was into those eighth notes before. Dude. <laughs> yes. Okay. Is my face red or what over here? Okay, now. Um, <laughs> all right, letter L. Shook my go, shook my good, shook my bad. Okay, shook my good. Um, yeah, now. Something like that. Oh, my good, shook my bad, shook my d yeah, yeah, okay. This is when people ask me about um, the live stream arranging phenomenon that I've, you know, like that I do that, which, by the way, it's such a phenomenon that we have, you know, <laughs> four people watching at the moment. It's a huge sensation worldwide. Um, but I mean, you know, like when 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 they're like, hi, why? Why do you do that or something I'm like, you know, it's just students at a festival or if I try to explain why I'm doing it. Um, one thing is that it keeps me focused and keeps me on task. And uh, I tend to be able to write more efficiently and, and sometimes more mindfully that way it can help. It doesn't distract me as much as not doing this would distract me. Um, and maybe maybe some folks can understand why that would be. But um, but uh, the, the other thing is exactly that, like people watching along will see me doing something really dumb and they're like, why is he? Mm, oh, this is embarrassing. He's, you know, and then so Ryan jumps in and lets me know that I'm writing in like double the length of what I need to do and then I can fix it. And it saves me some time because I was going to stare at that for a while <laughs> and figure out why. And I was fixing to like add bars to the section and then eventually I would have kicked myself. So. It's really, uh, it's 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 really super helpful. Yeah. So this is that that same pew, um, that plop. That's what I call it, at least. Come on. Sugar, my joy. Sugar, my sad. Sugar, my sad. Sugar, my sad. Yeah. Um, sugar, my sad. Sugar, my sad. So I'm going to do it the same way with the plop. Um, and hopefully that's going to help with the style there. Whoops. <laughs> Every form of articulation. Okay, sugar my joy, sugar my sand. Sugar my sand. Um, sugar my anthem, sugar my flag. What else does she sing? Do, are we missing some lyrics? Sugar my anthem, sugar my flag. Oh, no, it's because that's... Did she do that square? Yeah. Comma. Comma. My anthem, O oh Canada. Sugar. My flag. Bing bum 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 bum. My flag. Okay. And then what? Then what's going on in the. Um, is it this? It's happening in the band. Um, four bars of the C7 business to. So I think I already have this that I can steal for Panano. And then does it do three bars and then the figure again? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, three bars and then the figure. Good. Okay, so we'll fill this in with that. Um, oh, and 
just throw in the bass clef and then back to that, which is good. Connor loves the streams. What's up, Connor? I know a bunch of Connors. I don't know if I don't know if this I don't know if I particularly know this Connor because I can't see your face enough in the thing. But if you're one of the many Connors that I've met and that I know, um, hello. If you're not, then nice to meet you and thanks for coming by. In any case, um, but uh, thank you. Glad you like the streams. Thank you so much. Um, what do we got? What are we doing? Uh, she just says a bunch of stuff. I think she repeats this stuff at M, right? Okay, so she's doing that. Um, let me snag these things and then I'll see about maybe changing it, changing the phrasing if she changes it. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, yuck. Where is that? Appearance, reset, no spacing. Okay. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Is, 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 this remains, this remains, <laughs> it, 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 we do it again, right? Um, we do it again. I'm just realizing what, what this all is. Okay, so, and that's three, it's the same. It's all the same stuff. So I'm going to grab this again. Boom, blum, 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 dun, 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 dun. Um, played differently now with the Celerando, and I got to add that to this part I uh, want to make sure and give them their bass clef um, and does that mess something else up no that's good at the end oh um, I might as well I, I feel pretty good about these tempo moves so I'll go ahead and hide them so I didn't forget to do that later does that sound good to you? Uh, but this is the Accelerando, so um, avoid Hydro Show. There we go. Um, and yeah, Accelerando, I'll just put it at the top of the vocal chart. So we got the. Um, and I'm going to. I can't quite tell what she's doing. Um, It's not really that, is it? Yeah, it's different. It's different. I'll, I'll, I'll write it in later. Um, well, no. I mean, that's kind of a basic lift thing. Uh, so it starts at N. Or, sorry, N. Who is going to do that? And then how, how if... If they're like, da, 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 da. God, you know, that almost is worth doing four parts. And then, you know, it can be a level three if it if it's repeating a challenging whole step figure like that. It could be good educational stuff. But then if they're doing it, let's see. Um, You know, the way we can do it is, is is just make sure it's all in, that we're not trying to pull out the sevenths. Hmm. Altos, you can have that low F, even in a, even in a level th three, you can do it. Um, and then all... gonna be that's like a big part of this tune so so if they're doing that what is this what does that sound like they should sing syllable wise? Sugar my anthem, sugar my play. <laughs> it's a big crescendo that starts midway through Banana. 
I like banana. Banana. Reminds me of bananas, which also have a lot of sugar. Okay. Banana. Yeah. What are they singing? Are they singing Give Me My or Drink? drink? So, um, I, it sounds like they're saying sipping my soda or sipping your si sipping your soda, sipping your soda. That's the that's what it is. Right now. Sounds like they're saying sipping your soda. And then what else? Um, is it dipping the honey? Are they saying dipping the honey halfway at the? Oh, dipping the honey. Um, I mean, God, it's so hard. I need them on that. They're going to do it again here. I don't want that just to be piano. Ah, I need them, but it's so hard. Okay, all right. What else it what it can also be is this. It can be that, right? It can just be the tenor basses. Or it can be the tenor basses and altos. And the altos can go ahead and sing that C. You can sing it. <laughs> it's fine. Um, yeah, so if this is altos only on this part, then I have sopranos ready to go sip in your soda. And I'll just say sopranos only. And then I can have the altos join or whatever. But I mean, this is an additive section, so we're we're yeah we're building intensity with all the different sopranos only, um, yeah. So they've got sipping, sipping your soda. In your soda. Um, huh. So. I don't know yet. Because for sure. So they got dip in your honey that they do these other times. And then, you know, it's got to be the same move. It's got to be this. That's how we pull this off. So altos can do something else in here. And maybe I'll, I'll find them something to do. Same thing with the tenors and basses. But we need to get, we need to get back to this. This stuff has to be... Um, and then, you know, and, and they do something. There is something else going on at letter O here. I don't have O marked. I know what happened. Okay. 
Okay, I hadn't marked N yet in my uh, playback here. Okay. So that's giving me my chocolate. That's giving me my chocolate the whole time. Um, oh, and my... Huh. Okay, I apparently didn't get rid of all this. Give me... Um, give me my chocolate. I better make sure I get the... Uh, articulation right here uh give me my chocolate anyway god dang it um all of this hide oh this is just uh h i can just do that and uh, can i have both of these selected maybe get rid of them does it not oh it did okay sorry i'm being annoying here um just don't want to see these anymore I like that it's doing the move now without my help. Uh, you know, to do the <laughs> to do the Richard Rondo. Um, and then, what's it probably? If it was chocolate, it was. Uh, no one can tell me. Is that it? When it goes to F. <laughs> singing nobody's body that's that's what she's singing nobody's body but mine is the idea yeah we'll work on that no body's body she's singing nobody's body but mine yeah but mine yeah something like that so we'll get we'll get the uh, altos working on that um and then oh yeah i'd better i better check out what she does with okay i'm going to i'm going to go ahead and transcribe her phrasing here and and get this last accelerando to to actually match what she's up to because I didn't I think I just copied it and forgot it. Okay, sugar my good. Sugar my joy. There we go. This is where she breaks from the. Um, from the phrasing she was doing. Sugar my joy. Sugar my, sugar my joy. In fact, she goes right for it. And with a big fall. Sugar my joy. Sugar my sand. Mm. Okay. Yeah, let's use that. Sugar my I think she's like, what? Sugar my anthem. Sugar my sand. Sugar my anthem. Sugar my anthem. That's a fall also. Sugar my anthem. How's that look? Uh, that's okay. And then anthem, I just need to write in. And yeah. It's amazing. Have you seen the music? You should see the music video for this if you haven't. Um, it's 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 uh, it's really great. Yeah, she's got it. Sugar my flag. She's got a really cool video on this. Well produced and uh, funny, fun, as you might imagine. Bunch of sweets all around. Must have been absolutely brutal to film. Um, if if this is as uh, potentially autobiographical as one might imagine, it might not be. Maybe it's not her story, but 
you know, if it is, that would have been hard. It would have been a hard shoot. There's just a bunch of Swedes all around. Um, so far, I'm not getting a, a copyright strike from this. <laughs> so thanks to uh, Lila's label and the content ID for not catching this, um, it has the name of the song on it and the artist and uh, absolutely could have gotten snagged. So that's fortunate. All right. Um, I could figure out what the ending is. Um, I, th there's just... There's just more that's there's more that's ultimately going to happen um, in here, and um, give me my daughter, and that's that's arranging stuff. I, I think I'm, I'm going to take be able to take advantage of the fact that I have a choir um, a little bit more in this last section. Now, what do we do? Okay. Um, so more triads. I th I mean, uh, yeah. I think we now we have everybody in, so we can do the thing I was gonna do. Well, actually, does it kind of is it led by? Let me let me start this higher so that they're doing the same part they were doing before. I mean, it's hard to breathe, so. So uh, I guess, and maybe again, I'll find something for the tenor basses to do, but, but I guess they can take it over. Yeah. And then maybe they all come together. Da, da, da. I mean, they won't hear that very much, but um, oh yeah, we can all be a part of this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I see, okay, I see what's happening here. Um, they can all the the tenors and basses will get because of this double A flat. Boom, boom. Um, this gives them a chance to start the G-flat with them somehow. So we'll do that. And then I think I need to break away. I need to go to three parts there? Yeah, I'll just do this. And then, yeah, the these cats can come in. Uh, Danny Ford, love to see you doing work. I'm two weeks into summer, already missing vocal jazz. I get it. Yeah, I know, and that's when I spring into action. <laughs> that's exactly when it's time for me to get to work. Um... Thanks for joining. Thanks for being here. Yeah. 
And then, oh wait. This has to be triad still. Oh, it doesn't look like it is because of that, but it is. Okay, and then they can come down. Oh, maybe. Oh, I know what was going on. I'm sorry. It was a G sharp. I was just screwing me. Okay. Um, I can put them. Yeah, oops, bing, bump. Okay, goofing up everywhere here. out like that it's gonna be wide open <laughs> I think it could work though it'll work that'll work and then um they definitely piano definitely needs to fill bass boom, 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 drum 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 explode explode um multi writ in all the parts is not currently there da, 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 da. so um what did I do? Banana. I did banana. Banana. So I'll stick with the banana. Ba. Na. 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 Banana. 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 Na. 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 Banana. And then, ba, no, 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 no. Yeah, we have all of that now. Um, na, 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 yeah, na, na, a lot of na, 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 yeah. It's it's basically Hey Jude for the vocal jazz world. Think about it. It's the end of the tune. Um, okay. Now, hey, um, it's two hours in, and we have a lot of work done on this. That's good. Um, I'm going to take this stuff. Um, and move it to the next time it happens, the next chorus. But I think the next chorus is more extended so b sus ends with that can't actually be right it isn't right um so we need the same b sus business dun, 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 dun. yeah and then this has to be the same and then e flat sus she's got written in her piano part at the coda i mean for me that's the coda here so make sure i'm doing this right yep okay and then yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. uh b sus do we yeah we're kind of called whoa oh because it's not E flat. It's maybe that's a mistake. Um, okay, is this right before? Okay, good. Now E flat. I'm just grab this. Um, all of this needs to go into this piano part. Um, not a 
ton of method here. I'm just kind of um, writing what I know isn't there yet um, that I have already, you know, I'm already sure about. Um, but um, eventually we'll have to start making some artistic decisions. Um, I could just, like, if I really wanted to continue that, I'd, like, write the drum part now and just transcribe <laughs> essentially what the drums should look like. Um, I don't know if I'll do that, but uh, give me my chocolate. That's the E flat, and that is here, and it looks like. Has it ever happened up to this point? No, not really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, she stops really short of that and then expands on it here with the fudge of my cake business. Okay, so I got to read this from a distance here. So this is. Uh, I'm on the wrong part of the. There we go. Meow. Uh, meow, meow, meow. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So interesting. open fifth and then the D flat sus is starts with um, uh, F flat C flat oh man uh huh I can't tell what that is oh shoot I lost my Mm -hmm. Oh, and then F flat with, so it's being, wait, then what was that? Oh, oh, uh, okay, C flat, I have to get this right. Ba -ba. Sorry, this is boring for you, I'm sure. Uh, ba -da -da -da. And then that's actually D flat here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's where I made my mistake. D. Um. Okay, and then she stretches out to the same thing we started with before. G flat sus, it's and then yeah, G seven alt, bang 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 on um, should be is that ah, is that natural thirteen or flat thirteen? I think it's alt, so it's I'm gonna say that it's that gonna say that that's what she means to do here okay um, we got that um, let me just listen back to it here can't be what happened there so this before i i must be wrong about i uh i must have just added i must have added notes where they're not okay no the yeah no. No. that's why we listen <laughs> that's why we listen back no it's different that second time Now, I 
I hear I hear all the stuff that the E flat was doing in their recording. Um, her lead sheet, her, her her charts don't have that. Um, and it's an added layer of complexity that I don't think we have to add in this chart. So it's cool that they did it on the recording. Um, I am gonna uh, choose not to include that stuff in that spot. Um, okay, then bass is out for a bit, and then we go on. All right, now um, I definitely could start filling in the rest of the piano part. Um, um, dun, 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 dun. Um, so she's written. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna write what she Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna write what she um originally sort of has intended to do here. Um um Let's see. Um So actually we'll go down here. Um, let's see. All right, before I, before I get to that, actually I'm gonna take a little break. Um, I'm gonna see if I've got an AFK. So I'm gonna I'm put a little um, away from keyboard thing. I think it's gonna play a, uh, it's, gonna, it's gonna play a demo for a little bit uh, for you. I'll be right back though. Um, just, gonna, just gonna stretch for a second. <laughs>
think it played Minecraft I think did it play it it was supposed to um, let's see is it behind on this let's see how far behind is my stream here well anyway all right I am uh, yeah I'm gonna gonna try to go ahead and Oh, I think, I think I will do a banana, 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 banana. Um, I'll go ahead and do one of those. At the beginning of the chart. Is it worth trying to do? I mean, if I listen to the beginning of that, is it, let's see. It, I mean, it's in there. Um, it's in there. Ethan, hey, oh, hey, greens from Hutch. I'll take it. My Kansas brethren. Hope all is well for uh, the Badenage type folks. Good to see you. Thanks for coming along. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, I think... I think I'm gonna go ahead and take a shot with this one and have it be... I think... I think I'm gonna do that, and then... I'll just see what the implications are if I were to try to carry this forward. better do that and then um yeah it, i'll just stop i'll stop having the seventh and then maybe yeah okay i see what it'll be it'll be and then So then I'll, I'll, I'll end it with the whole steps in the lead, but not the entire time. Um, and then this can just be the rest of those chords. So, you know. That's cool. That'll do it. Uh, do I have the right? I mean, that's F flat technically, but um, I'm just going to leave it. I think we're good. Okay. So moving forward, piano part, um, and then they can go. Let me just listen a little bit. Sugar, because I'm also tired. Um, yeah, she's hipper with her arrangement of it than, um, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to actually go, I'm going to go to like what her ink is here instead. Yeah, so... Um, so, oops. Uh, I'm doing terribly. I could not be messing this up more. Okay. Um, let me just put bomb. And then she does this, um, like this. Which is cool. Um, and then it's interesting against that bass part, right? Um, she's doing this. So, I mean, in her chart, she's got this, she's like including <laughs> all of these things. E7 to F7. Um, and I, you know, I haven't started adding all the, I haven't started adding all this stuff yet, but, um, but that, that actually matches the way she writes her intro. Um, and it's long, but she also, in her chart, doesn't have that be do 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 They added that later, maybe for the recording process or something. So, um, you know, they made changes in the studio that, uh, so I'm just trying to decide which things to use here. Yeah, and then this is just that. Three. 
And then this is um Uh, which we haven't seen. I don't know if we have that in the chart, the original chart with the do da 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 But um, but uh, we're gonna do that here. Hmm. And then it's this. Um, and keep in mind, like I'm, I'm doing all of this before changing the key. Um, that's gonna be that's gonna be done. Um, geez, I don't know. Um, I, I just want to get in. I want I want to do all the input from the charts that I have and all the lifting and everything that I'm going to do before like writing creatively and then change the key probably just a half step up. God, a half step. Whole step. It'll be a whole step. It'll be in G, I think. Um, feels weird. It's so perfect in this key. I just, just that I just... Just really need that, very commonly need that, don't need that low E flat, and it's problematic. Um, can't have it unless you got a cool, definitely customized little bass situation. Um, so, sugar. So, one, one, two, uh, one, two, uh. Wait, where is this? Okay, yeah, this is the move that she does. It's really interesting. She's so she's putting this um Yeah. Sorry, I'm not completing any sentences right now cuz I'm trying to figure something deep out. Um <laughs> So do I want to continue with that? Two, three, go, go. So it's on the end of four, just like this. So yeah, I should just steal. This is exactly what it is. It's actually all of this. And it starts here. And that was F. It really is. We'll just call it. She's calling it just F7, but. I mean, actually, yeah, there's not enough that at the beginning we had some F sharp nine action going on there. But uh, after that, it doesn't really come up again the same way. So I'm just going to call it F7. All this stuff is happening, but it really doesn't have all the vase, base, so I'm not putting it. Um, and um, and then again, not the sharp nine and now we're starting to proceed a pace okay um and so the third bar of her form um oh you know what that was only one time that she did that um okay so fast sugar so sweet it's gonna Inspired sugar because it works so fast. Sugar so sweet, it's gonna help me last. Sugar, yes, <laughs> huh? So It's on my brain, sugar. When I can feel the shame, sugar. Oh, there it is. Because you disapprove, sugar. So sweet, it's gonna help me move, sugar. Okay, so she does all of this stuff at letter G. Um, that I'm gonna write in 
I'm going to include that the whole time here. Okay. So, makes sense. Okay. So, tie. Um, so sorry. So sorry that this part is, uh, this is me brainstorming in real time and it's not very interesting to you. It can't be, <laughs> just can't be. Um, but what I want to do is boom, 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 boom. One and two and two and two and that, right? Okay. That's easy enough. Um, And so, for them, that's the timing. It's just everybody's doing their own approach here. Um, okay, I gotta get this straight. Eventually, this is gonna be okay because I'll be able to actually reuse this. Um, two, three, back do and then nothing which makes sense. So that's just this. And I guess it's over A flat. What's that even sound like? Nah. That's an arrangement. We can do what we want. OK. <laughs> So not over A flat. It, it is it is what the bass part has, but interesting. Yeah, there's there's just difference in in the versions, you know. Okay, so we got half and last. Okay, and this is uh, re intro. So. So it's got all this stuff. So it's this figure. Yes. Yes. Okay. Here's what happens in the reintro. Okay. Um, so it's almost the same, except except they hit this twice. We'll do it. Uh, and then this is not what it is. It's actually so it. Um, so it's the thing you think from down below. Uh, that getting into finally now we're, we're starting to cook with a little gas here um the sort of b section here literally b um and for this part bum, 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 bum. Um, bum, Oh, that is different. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, okay, I'm figuring it out. Okay, actually, so all of this, I can just... I can just... Man, I just have to write it in. I just have to do it. Just, just do it. I'm just trying to see if there's anything I could steal from before. One, two, three, two, three, bang, bang. So rest, rest, it got to. Uh, bang, bang. Um, or that's going to be um, the D7. Or D, I'm sorry, D flat 7. Um, and I guess technically that's that. And this is that. And uh, they're going to get this chord 
change that the base does not get, and this is not. We don't want the sharp nine on there. In fact, I've got a couple other sharp nines to hunt down. Did I miss some? There's one. Oops. Okay. Uh, and another one. As DJ Khaled would say. Yeah, so it's only that one time. Uh, okay. Okay, good. We're good. We're good. And then the same chord here. So it's like really straightforward. It's like um, these voicings are not um, going. Okay, good. Yeah, this is just uh, like shell voicings. Yeah, I forgot the term for that. Why did I forget that term? Because I haven't been teaching as much lately. Um, Okay, so tedious uh, at the moment. I think some of this will be reusable later in the chart, maybe, or at least it can be a template. And and you'll notice again, like the 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 you know, if you arrive and you're coming to watch a vocal jazz arranging stream, and you'll see how much is not about the vocal jazz arranging. It's about the rest of the chart. <laughs> this is not about the choir. Um, and that's how these things come together. Really, the most tedious stuff is uh, is here, you know. Um, that's just the deal. Bum, bum. Okay. Um, and then we can... Bang, and we're going to do... see another sharp nine that I actually don't need and another one um, fix those so that's okay and then just yeah this we're gonna put all of this in um, all this staccato uh, get rid of that. I'll take these. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, and this has to be staccato, too. So, boink. All right. Let's just uh, let's listen to the first bit and see if w it makes sense what I've written here. is ba -da 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 -da, which we've had before so we've had yeah oh that's not where this went this isn't even where this went. Um, sorry, this was the wrong place for that. This goes here. Um, and that needs to be, they need to be staccato. They didn't sound too good long. Now that I have that, I can grab all of this and it loses. Um, well, I need to add a bunkaga at some point. Um, yeah, and then back again to this. I'm not going to be that cute. Um, 
in this version of the track. I was just kind of going on what was written in the uh, in the in her band's you know bass part, but um, I'm not going to go that detailed with this and let let them kind of feel the rhythm section stuff how they want to feel it. Um, a two, okay. Um, let's see. Boom. Uh, what's happening before D in the original recording? Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna do what they do and give a thing I'll have to actually go in and <laughs> I'll have to go ahead and play this when I record the demo for sure. Because um, that will not sound good when I play it back. Dig this. Because <laughs> what it really is, it's that, but it kind of it kind of decrescendos. So it's not going to sound good um, yet. Um, so that's all that happens for D. It's just... Drum fills. Sugar, because I'm also sad. Sugar, because I feel so bad. Sugar, so I can just forget. Sugar, because my mind is sad. Sugar. Okay, so all of this now we have. Um, um Although they tighten it up and go straight to, yeah, they tighten this up. Okay, so it's, uh, yeah, 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 okay. So it's, it, so the first three bars are the same. Yeah, sorry. I, as I'm doing this, I'm looking at a chart that's written in in, how, in uh, cut time, uh, so I have to translate everything and just I'm slow. Uh, so bump, 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 bump. Um, I can I can go ahead and take this to get into B flat with the D flat seven and all that. Ga, ga, da, da. And then when do I lose it? It doesn't do the same thing as of the as of here. It stops being the same. Um, let's see. Oh, more of these sharp knives. There's going to be a lot of them because I copied this throughout the chart. So I just have to find them every time as I pr proceed forward. Uh, we decided we weren't really going to feature this as sharp nine bluesy harmony, except for right at the beginning. I just kind of thought maybe that would apply the whole time, but it's not. Um, okay. Uh, what happens right before this, this, uh, bum, 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 bum. okay, so this is, uh, Jeopardy, this is, um, I guess, it's that, right, and bum, 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 so I just, uh, need to throw that in, and then it's more, um, yeah, it probably it probably will look better to use the um, bass clef for the piano right hand, um, uh, Doctor Gerdo. Um, mm hmm. Thank you for that idea. Yeah, no, I I think you're right. It, it's it's a little bit uh, yeah, it's a little bit low. I will probably go through and adjust that. Maybe I'll do it now. Um, and then here, those can be. That high, yeah. Why don't I? Why don't I honor your uh, uh, 
suggestion by by finding by going through and finding the best places for that like right here for sure right that just looks dumb that way and now it doesn't look dumb uh, any places it looks like I had to go back yeah this is all okay this is all okay I mean here obviously when I do the tinkly um, and then back back to base clef Um, this actually doesn't look, eh, I kind of, I guess, I think I'll go ahead and make, th start with this phrase and, uh, make this treble clef. Yeah. And that'll look good th for the rest of there. But yeah, thanks for the feedback. That is why I do this because <laughs> I love to, uh, love to hear people, uh, point out their perspective on things like that. So I will do it. Um, okay, so we got that, um, and and then that actually gets us through. Um, that gets us through the first um, big chunk of the tune, actually. Um, and now, where we have backgrounds and soloing and all that. Oh, that's the coda. Got it. Okay, so uh, backgrounds and soloing is happening. Da, da. That was a DS, and the DS goes back to the... The DS goes back to this section. I have to find it in the chart. This is basically the re-intro, she calls it, which is this. Um, and so I'm not going to use all of that. Um, um let's see. Okay. It's going to be a combination of things. It's going to be the first couple bars are going to be this and I need the, I need to put that back. Um, Bum, 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 bum. Um, and then I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna hit one of these that has the gun, gun, gun uh, on that figure, which is where. Who has one of those? This this has one of those. Gun, 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 Cause that's. Ah, there's the one where it had a a a, a dot dot. Um, where did I write that? Cause that's actually, exactly what she has written here. No, it's not. Nope, it's not what she has. Um, da, 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 da. Oh, it really was this. Okay. I was looking at the wrong spot. Oh, I see what it is. Yeah, I'll, I'll add a little hit uh, just to match what she does. Um, so these two bars can be this. Um, and then suit. Oh yeah, it's it's actually it's actually a little busier. But da 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 It's it's actually like closer to this in that bar. Sorry, this won't make much sense to you because I'm I'm looking at her. Um, chart here let's see man i screwed up again um what I, I meant to put that right here instead um bab what would uh what would you suggest my gu uh, guitars play um i think what we ought to do for guitar I, I'll, I'll i'll write a guitar part um and uh in in the spirit of um, <laughs> in the spirit of uh, it being sellable later, I'll you know I'll try to make it an optional guitar part. Um, 
but it seems to me that that uh, guitar could kind of cover if they if they want to use a swell pedal like whoa, that kind of stuff um we could have them on some of the the uh, uh on you know just playing some of the changes give them slashes and stuff they can play colors and they can fill in here and there as as they hear but um i'll give them their own part yep so uh yeah we'll work on that um let's see assume um, optional guitar yeah so I'll, I'll just that'll just remind me to go in and and, and add that but um so um oh and i don't have this marked okay so then we get into i, I just haven't added changes here that's all that's happened um better catch up with that um let me add the chord changes and um and so then what is it on the way out like getting into G um, so okay, because because that is that is when we come out of the reintro and that's right G is the uh, uh, that, yeah um, so we just need another uh, 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 um think let's play let's play their g what do they do is it just drums Sugar. oh that was the move yeah 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 i remember that oh yeah yeah no i need to make this match what am i doing uh sorry in he this could have worked if i hadn't written all these things ben, 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 ben. no we have to we have to we have to match this. What am I talking about? Yeah. Whoops. <laughs> that would have eventually cropped up. <laughs> uh, and then maybe no left hand hit there. Um, I guess... If they're going to do it short, 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 I better make sure we all do that. So piano matches that. So, um, so in fact, this is... Uh, And then yeah, it's just gonna be this. On the uh, they'll they'll just do this same thing that will ultimately make more sense. And it really is, it really is sharp nine this time. Um, and I won't. I'll hit this with maybe, bump. Um, and then I will call this. Just F7 sharp nine with a little flourish there. Gink, gink, gink. Bump, bump, bump. Dun, dun, dun. That's shorter. Gink, gink, gink. And then, and then they'll do it again except hold, I think. Bump, bump, bump. No, they'll be they'll just be short. But dun, dun. Dun. And I'm gonna I'm gonna write a new line here, so it's uh, so they'll be used to playing but and then they can just hit that and we'll come out that'll come out kind of clean. Um, okay, I think that's cool. Yeah. That I have added guitar will <laughs> will um, 
remind me to um, write that part for sure. Uh, then this is Jeopardy. This is a spot where we're probably going to do more with the ensemble to fill, but the rhythm section is kind of, they're comping the same stuff. Um, so they can take what happens here. Rhythm, or the piano part can take this, and I presume it's going to, I mean, it must be getting into the, yeah, it's all the same getting into the chorus. So this transfers fine, except for probably some, yeah, some clef issues that I'm going to fix. Uh, I'll leave the clef here. Eh. No. It, it probably reads better in bass clef still. Yeah, yeah, even with the high notes and stuff. Yeah, so this just stays working better. It's all just kind of this grungy, low, uh, you know, tritones and stuff to support with with active bass. Um, John, do you suspect your your bass player is up for this? This is a late time, you know, late in the thing to ask for it, I guess. But is is your bass player up for all this muted electric bass? I mean, I don't know how to do that would have to look up a YouTube video <laughs> but that I mean it, I, I imagine it liter doesn't literally have to be played that way um, but I think that's seems to be the coolest for what uh, she's doing okay all this we have and yeah we're we're proceeding apace now Uh, ding, 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 ding. And that's just the piano section there. Uh, second, my friend, second, my friend. Um, so all that is fine. Maybe with some ensemble. That's This is kind of where I was picturing maybe some... Da, 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 you know, like tenor bass at least. Um, da, da. Why don't I just have them in? Um, is this, if I just, I could actually, I could grab this and it would be right. They just need to breathe. Yeah, he's solid. E. Like that. Um, it's a drag to have to. No, you know, and that's too obvious, and it's it's too persistent to keep them doing the da 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 da. da I think because it's so much of it in this section. So I take it back. We will do a different thing with the ensemble there. So moving on, because my goal right now is to finish the piano part. And ow, ooh, is it done? Oh, it might be done. Yeah, piano part's done. Okay. Um. I, oops, what have I done? Um, guitar uh, or guitar or ensemble? Uh, what do we like more? Um, okay, let's 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 go ahead and and um, let's go ahead and write the uh, guitar part. Oops, always forget different octave. Um, so that'll be rhythmic notation. is inefficient because I, I definitely could be <laughs> I could just copy when I have a certain figure done but um, that actually might take me more time to figure out let's say dun, 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 dun. this will be a figure dun, dun, 
dun 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 Same deal. I'm just going to do it again. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. So, yeah, it, it, for those of you watching in the future, mostly, apparently, who, who don't know what this is leading to, um, uh, it, it, will, it will become... It'll become more obvious in a moment. Um, um, I just I, I'm doing both cues or uh, slashes and rhythmic notation. I'm laying the groundwork for that, and then I'll I'll make um, uh, I'll leave um, like I'm. It, it's going to be somewhere in the middle. The guitar is going to have somewhere in the middle between the information that the piano player has and the bass player has, in order to kind of be fulfilling the correct role here, I think. Um, yeah, the demo is not going to have the guitar um, because I cannot play guitar and uh, I don't live near any guitarists that I know anymore. Um, and yeah, so it's it'll it'll be a thing that that uh, folks can add like uh, like the standard. I love that my first two commissions this year, um, the only two I've completed, well, I did this revoicing, but the only two main new title commissions that I've done so far have been for Kansas. I'm, I'm down with that. I wrote Neil also start uh, early because he starts over the summer, as you might know. Um, Oh, this would be interesting. Um, what should I do here? Oh, you know what might be hip here is... Um, not playing double stops, but giving them, giving them the... Uh, giving them that line. And then this is rhythmic notation hit for E7 alt that will happen later. So that that's notation. They're going to play that figure exactly, right? Um, oops. This has to be real specific. In fact, they have to have the whole thing. Oh, you know, uh, no, they need they need it. They need it. They better have it <laughs> because you don't want them playing something that conflicts with this figure. Um, bump. Um, and then this thing again, that thing again. So again, I'm doing all of the, like laying out B where uh, slashes are going to go or beat notation is going to go to indicate rhythmic figures. And then, um, and then that's, that's the best way to really indicate this kind of stuff to a guitar, uh, to a guitarist. Um, is the same as before but I, i'm just gonna play it i'll fix the uh end harmonics later 
And then I know it changes now. So logical. Oh, and then. And then bump, bump, bump again. And dun, 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 dun. okay. Hmm. No, they they need this. Uh, I would I would lay out until here. Yep. And then bump, 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 bump. And then, okay, now I might as well save myself some trouble. Um, and fill this in. Have them lay out, I think guitar lay out on that whole tone figure. And let's just copy this and uh, go for it. Uh, it goes to here. And then more goes through. And then guitarist probably needs to be involved in the ending. So let's just give them. Hmm. Uh, yeah, let's give them this. Actually, give them all this. Um, oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay, that will be clean. Uh, they actually don't need the changes there um, anyway. Uh, but F5, for sure, they can use that. Um, and uh, we'll just have them play that top line. All right, now, um, what let's do is now go through and create all of the note, the uh, non, okay, everything that's gotta be slashes. I'm gonna make that now and just, it's tedious now that, that I'll need to go through um, because it goes back and forth between that and rhythmic notation, right? Um, so, but that's that's really the best way to do this, I think. Um, bum, bum, bum. this so super exciting to watch um if you're at home if you have questions <laughs> feel free to ask them in the chat <laughs> i'm not sure anybody's watching at the moment it it tells me that it's zero but it might be lagged <laughs> so i don't blame hey somebody's here i like that loud ending maybe add a fifth voice part on the final chord yeah you know what i haven't broken into um i mean i haven't done the ensemble writing uh, but i I presume it's going to be SSATB anyway, so yes, uh, for sure. I will split. I, I initially did, and then I was like, oh, maybe I can just go wide open with this. And, and uh, I was thinking it was, it's kind of, it is kind of thin, but I was thinking of it as an effect, but um, that might just be justifying, for some reason, not wanting to add second soprano. I'll add second soprano all day long. No worries. Okay, so here I'm entering into a stage where it's notation, and then bump, bump, bump. Okay, so once again. So um, for people watching in the future, um, I'll be educational for a second. The, uh, the 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 slashes really indicate some kind of you know time is passing somehow. They they can they can play time quote unquote, um, you know, they can play something that's a grooving time or 
or they can know based on some notation, annotation that I give them in their chart, the guitarist is, um, that they can, um, you know, do whatever. Maybe it's colors or just like occasional stab, bloop, 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 bloop. you just little, little things or, or muted kind of stuff that would be kind of appropriate in this tune. Um, I'll try to find some language that works to express that. And, you know, if they listen to the original recording, um, that might help as well. Um, so that's what cues are doing. Rhythmic notation means play the chord that is indicated. And of course, I'll be adding chords to all of this. Play the chord that is indicated um, in the rhythm that is written there as well. And so all this is rhythmic notation. That is that. Okay, so this is done, essentially. Um, now, uh, this actually should have been ryth rhythmic, or, uh, rhythmic notation. So, for example, rhythmic notation. It's going to look like this. It's it's that. So you get a little slash, and uh, you you take that. It says F five up there. I'm not going to put all those changes above this because they're not going to play chords there. I don't think. Um, this was a weird voicing problem. Um, <laughs> um, um. I mean, it, it's F five, and so it's pretty. It's pretty spacious. Um, I know it's not a. It's not a fifth note. It's a fifth voice part to give the altos just the, the you know, reinforcing the high, the high note there. Um, so it's not thick because it doesn't feel like a thick chord, but. Um, We'll see if that's okay. Um, all right, so here, now we go, I'm gonna go through and start adding all of the rhythmic notation. The stuff we skipped, um, or some of the stuff we skipped um, earlier, just now. So now I add this, and this will be the way it's supposed to be. It's like I say, it's a little tedious, but, um, and there are, it, it might be faster if I paid attention to exactly what was copy and pasteable, but, um, I feel like doing that math actually is um, like like going through and saying, oh, no, that's not exactly the same. You know, that just takes enough time to where I might as well just input it again. I've done that in this chart. I've definitely done some like, you know, go back and see if I've already got this written. But that a lot of times that's so that there's consistency between sections of the chart so that it has uh, coherence to it. Um, it's not out of laziness to do copy paste. Um, you don't, especially with with on vocal ensemble stuff. If if a section is close to the same thing, uh, you really want it to be exactly the same thing because you don't want to confuse the group when they're trying to memorize. Vocal jazz groups don't perform with sheet music in front of them. They have to memorize for the gig most of the time, and uh, you don't want to make memory stuff the hard part. That at the end of the you know rehearsal periods for vocal jazz groups, you want to be focusing on the performance aspects and maybe improv or you know how to look on stage or the energy or the subtle dynamic things you want to accomplish and all that stuff um, anyway I'm also going to do a um, an articulation pass I haven't uh, I'm just doing passes on this guitar part to be kind of efficient in my thinking oh my god <laughs> hey wow so we have a what do I do? Let's see. Um, uh, put user in timeout. Remove. Yeah. Um, report. Um, unwanted commercial content or spam. Okay. <laughs> Took care of that. Um, so, I, you know, I wonder if it has to do, if it somehow finds live channels where the, um, the broadcast itself is, is showing. A, it, wait, can I do something to remove these? Um, I removed them, but it's still showing up on the thing. I want it to not show up anymore. Literally remove. Ah, it's showing me. Oh, that's a drag. Um, 
Just get that stuff off the page, right? <laughs> um, all right. That's done now. That probably looks pretty spammy, what I just did. <laughs> it's not that this is necessarily marked as, <laughs> you have spam. <laughs> exactly. It's not that this is like for kids, necessarily. In fact, this chart is for adults um i mean it's not bad for kids uh but i mean it's for some adults it's being done um for uh, c college students but i mean <laughs> i don't want that filth <laughs> on my channel i appreciate the views though <laughs> Let's see what else. Okay, bom, bom, bom. So articulation, articulation pass coming, although I have some here uh, already done. So they can um, know how to properly chunk through this stuff. And bom, bom, dun, 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 dun. last thing I'm doing is writing the group. Isn't that wild? Um, oh, it's fascinating, Carrie. We never imagined it. Okay. Um, Still have some annotations to, or, you know, things I'm going to need to. Um, some things I'm going to need to write. Sorry, something distracted me for a second. Uh, I got to decide which chords are necessary. Like, not all of the chords are necessary. That's the thing. Um, they don't need this. They need this. They need this, everything until they could use all this, but not that. They just don't need that E7. That's just going to be confusing for the guitarist. Kind of helps the pianist, but uh, not helpful. Like right there, yeah. So I just, you know, you got to do only the information they need. Try not to overwhelm people, right? Go until... There's, there's another one that they don't need. Oh, John, if you're still there, did you know um, we... Uh, oh, shoot. Uh, I was going to say we, um, the Oklahoma Allstate, we figured out the stuff with auditions. We're all, all set. Um, uh, thanks again for using the tune, my guy. Um, very cool. Hope that helps them find the right cats. It's challenging, for sure. It's going to be a nice challenge for them. But I'm offering the um, vocal part tracks and minus tracks and stuff so they can get, get uh, prepared for their auditions. That is Inside Baseball. That is literally me talking just to John Stafford. <laughs> oh, yeah, I needed the changes here. So um, so this was uh, F sharp, 7 sharp, 9, and then back to F7 sharp, 9. Um, and then we need that. We need that here. Oh, and then this goes here as well. So I need all of it until a while, a while. Keep it, keep it, keep it going, keep it going. Yes. Got a good run. Okay. Um, back here and copy paste all of those changes. We will not keep the. Um, uh, we actually won't be keeping the um, uh, ta uh, ta what is it? What the heck is that called? Um, for the guitarist, the court, the fret, the fretboard or whatever. Yeah, we're not going to keep that. What am I forgetting the name of it? My, 
his brain is fried, I guess. Um, we're not going to keep that. Uh, it's just, just not necessary in jazz charts usually. And uh, it's not that those particular voicings are uh. the hippest ones. And we just trust that the players in these groups will, you know, be smarter than Sibelius about which exact voicings they're going to play. Um, all right. So this is, this is, again, a little bit of tedium for you. Um, but I'm, I'm about done with that. And uh, the last, last thing I'll do is write the drums part. Um, but uh, the next thing is to work on the ensembles, <laughs> the ensemble vocals. And uh, that would seem like, you know, again, for vocal jazz chart, boy, isn't that so, so important? And right at the beginning, I mean, it is important to get right. But um, I need to write everything else I know is going to be there first. And here's the deal. Uh, this chart is not in this key. Uh, I've now finished inputting everything I'm going to input before actually changing the key and bringing it up, I believe, a whole step because I, I just hate what it's going to do to take this thing into... Um, actually, this probably should have had a, a key signature from the beginning anyway. Um, anyway, um, edit the guitar diagram. Um, chord diagram is what that's called. Yeah, that's what I had to get rid of. Okay. In fact, what what key would I have put this in? It's it's uh, it's an F. Um, so and because it's dominant all the time, I'm basically it's I'm thinking like B flats, B flats and E flats are kind of it's this, the, the key signature really should it should look like it's in B flat. So that's how we know. Yeah, whole step up is fine. Yeah. So that's how we know. So. So actually, interestingly, <laughs> because it's really, you know, like the key signature is B flat to accommodate all those, um, all those E flats in the, th that we see in this key. Once we now change the key, it's gonna, gonna not have a key signature, um, which is kind of cool. It's a little cleaner. So um, here goes, here's the move. Oh, whoops. Here's the big move. Um, G major would tune better vocally, would it? Wow, okay. No kidding. I do not know about things like that. That is, that's awesome. Well, very good. Uh, into G, G7, really, we are, right? I guess there's not, there's literally not a minor seven chord or uh, a major seven chord or any other type except for dominant in the entire chart. Like, isn't that interesting? I mean, very rare for me to write a tune like that, uh, the, you know, a chart like that. So I love it. It's a different, different colors than normal, and actually, not a ton of like super extended harmony probably happening in this. Although we'll we'll find out once we get into it. So notations. Uh, what am I doing? Note input. Oh yeah, this is transposed. Um, and uh, we're going up a whole step. Um, I do want to transpose a key signature. I guess I need to do this. It says B flat. I'm going to call it C. Um, but that's we know that that's not really what we're doing. Oh wait, 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 wait. It's it's wrong here. F major is a terrible key because of vocal breaks. Wow. My guy, dropping the knowledge. I uh, appreciate that. That is cool. All right. It was doing weird stuff just now. Okay, there we go. This is what I wanted. Um, yes, change the key at start. Change the key to persist. Up a whole step. And voila. Now let's listen. Let's just hear what this is like. I don't like this at the beginning here. Um, this is kind of high for me. And then I'll just pull in a bass clef halfway. Is that okay? They're gonna, I mean, that's the kind of thing that piano players are going to need to just learn and, like, get used to playing. <laughs> like, that's a drag to... So, is that Justin? I 
need to fix that real quick. This is this is supposed to be um, rhythmic notation, and I missed it. Um. articulation pass on the guitar. That's it. I mean, so, so we like the A flat, we're okay with this key. Everything else is sounding really good. It's fine. Good grief. <laughs> okay, enough of that. Um, yeah, cool. I mean, uh, yeah, I think it works. <laughs> I think the keys are going to work great. Um, uh, I wish that it would have, like, <laughs> shown the solo. Okay, so, ensemble. Oh, we, we before I forget, um, articulation pass. I gotta add the I gotta, I gotta add the staccatos and accents where I didn't already, and uh, that's probably cool. Uh, uh, that'll be clear, but it has to be played in a certain way. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I missed uh, I missed hide user on this channel. That's an option I have as a as to to moderate my chat. I just missed that. Uh, why do people have to be evil like that? Why do they have to do that? That's pretty rude. All right. Okay, yeah. Articulation patch basically is 
is just this. It's just adding all these kind of stuff um, to kind of unify that in the rhythm section. Hey, it's coming together. I think it's going to work. Um, oh, yeah, and there's definitely going to be an enharmonics pass, isn't there? Make things look a little read more re readable, I think. Um, bump, 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 bump. Uh, I certainly do like put off the writing of the ensemble stuff until uh, until I'm really sure everything else is kind of solid a lot of the time unless like I just have this obvious idea that I know this is what this does and then I'll I'll go ahead and do that immediately um, but uh, I haven't necessarily already you know I haven't been able to decide immediately what the ensemble is going to do throughout the chart yet um, and so. I have gone ahead and put that process on hold. Okay, good. These articulation are there, and they remain there until the end. Voila. Okay. There's no dynamics yet. Um, that will happen. But let us uh, actually. I'm gonna just slightly zoom out. Yeah. I wanna. I wanna be able to see everything a little more clearly. Um, so, okay. So let's let's get let's get the ensemble right away. Give them that. Um. Um, you know what we could do? Could just this will be interesting because um, we're doing we're doing SSATB and then just for color sake we'll, we'll bring them in on that figure there. So this is new for sure. Yeah, it's fine. Do do dot early in the chart. Uh, yeah, maybe an, an, an inclusive figure of um, so just little stabs that go along with the, uh, the you know there's another thing you could do with this is you know give them some kind of a melody right away but I, I in the spirit of the original it feels like just setting up some little compy figures do that stab things um, is about all you want to do I think with this that's all I want to do with it. Um, da 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 I don't necessarily just want this to be a solo right away. You could send me an SSA version. You, or you could, are you making, uh, making uh, yeah, I see, make an SSA version and sell more copies. Oh, yeah. And Lila's, you know, uh, you know, Lila's open to however we want to uh, present her music. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we definitely could. 
Um, so, sugar, sugar, because I'm close to time, sugar, because I'm on the spine, sugar. Yeah, so the, we, we could go, go ensemble on the melody here with um, the tenor basses. Uh, tenor bass is just not necessarily. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right? Absolutely. So this will be fun. Uninspired, uninspired, uninspired. I mean, this will be a thing to nuance these. these, um, And it's a really good thing for a group to work on. And, and with, you know, with unisons, um, octaves, unisons, that kind of stuff, with this kind of inflection, um, there's a lot of opportunity to work on some useful musical elements here. Work so fast, work so fast, work so fast, like all that stuff. Um, you know, and the interesting, it, 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 some of this melody, because it, um, like, if I were to try to do harmony, because it works so fast, like, the, the B flat 7 would screw that up right away, so... Um, like if I was like on an A here or something, and because it works, like I, you, you know, because it works so fast. I mean that that B flat, it would just be a little, it'd be a little precious. Um, Sugar so sweet, it's gonna help me last. So the, you know, the choir sets itself. You've you've had this four part harmony thing at the beginning. You've had a little dissonance with this, and then sugar, because I'm also tired of sugar. So I think that that's probably a good place to start. We got to do more. Um, mm -hmm. um, so I think now, I think I think one statement like that is is probably. Yeah, that is a challenge on this thing. Um, the 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 little hits come, you know, the, the hits change the scale, the chord scale theory underneath these melodies, like holding a melody note and then changes. So if if you're having the ensemble doing chords, you have to you have to change the notes, otherwise it's really clashy with the rhythm section. So what that kind of gives you is background role except for maybe this kind of a, a unison statement w which we can do again um, but I don't think I want to immediately do that again so I think I would get them to start doing some ensemble let me last and maybe like so I, I, I think that's 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 kind of where we are here is um, So just straight up chordal harmony kind of figures here is, is going to serve us. Um. Um, I mean, technically. Okay, yeah, so that, uh, uh, and then what is it? That, 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 that. Yeah, I I kind of want to reach up for this one. And um and then bing bong. Okay, and then what else we have? Bing bong bong bong. Maybe um, maybe long company like long tones in the next section. Yeah, yeah, Ooh. yeah. Or echo echoes and hits. Okay, yeah, long tones. Got it, got it. Got it. Da, da. 
Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, um, so and then it will have done. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just some sustain. Something. I'm not sure yet about that voicing, but. You're doing a great there. I'll shut up. No, man. <laughs> you are you are invited to say what you want, my friend. So I just want to make good voice leading with this. Um oh, whoops. Cool, cool. Yeah, yeah. Sugar tastes sweeter when I'm missing. Sugar tastes sweeter when I'm missing you. Sugar tastes sweeter when I'm missing you. Oh, yeah. So here's what this has to be. And I mean, the, you, you get sugar tastes sweeter when I'm missing. This is octaves every day of the week. Mm. And the reason it's in the group, uh, th like, I don't want the group laying out after kind of getting involved the way they've done. That man, I make it through. Sugar tastes sweet when I'm missing you. But be, like, and so they'll do that little slide onto B2, and that'll be cool. Um, but again, like, it, th this doesn't match up with the way they do their harmony. Like this. Like, there's, there's issues with that. Um, missing you. I mean, it kind of works. But like this. That's C7 alt, really. Or C7 sharp 9. This is sus against the, this. So so we, we got to like really just lean into a melody that doesn't agree with the underlying harmony. I mean, deliberately doesn't agree. We're not accidentally doing it, but... Mm. That's cool. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. You know what this is? <laughs> Every day of the week? Sugar. It's this. Sugar, sugar. We haven't done it yet. This will be a really nice response. With a fall. Sugar. Right? Something else happens before this too. I, I I just and so I mean we could we could you know we could catch some um, catch some lyric hits. 
Sugar. Okay, anyway, um, so we'll get that. Uh, let's see. Have we done that already? Um, with the whole group? What did we do? Yeah, we did. All right, let's let's have it. Um Um this is just for my notes for later, except it's not working. I'm, actually, I'll do a different note for that. Um, which remind me that I copied and pasted. Um, and then, uh, sugar, 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 sugar. See, that'll be like, yeah. So that's strong. Whatever that is, dynamically, we'll hit that. Sugar, sugar, because I'm also, oh, so sad. Oh, so sad, bagada, oh, so sad. So the O, oh, bagada, O, oh, we're going to cover up the soloist saying sad with our O, oh, but we'll, you know, it, it'll work out in the mix. Um, so. So we, we've been using this. We've been using this voice thing that we're getting comfortable with, and it's part of the character of the chart now. So I like it. Oh oh, 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 so, oh, so sad. It's just a little more complicated for the. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so feels so bad. I mean, this is chart writes itself at this point. <laughs> Oh, so sad. That's cool. It's harder for the guys, but they'll, I mean, the uh, tenor basses, but they'll figure it out. So, uh, oh, so sad. Oh, so sad. Oh, so sad. Oh, so sad. Okay, I almost want them to slide into it. Yeah, you can decide on that in the rehearsal. So, oh, so, oh, so sad. Oh, so sad. Uh, decide on the articulation also if you want. Feel so bad, da -da. bad sugar. Feel so bad, sugar. Yeah, I like, mm, feel so bad, sugar. Um. See, this is where the chart actually begins. It takes it takes like three and a half hours to get to write the chart, essentially, um, in this case. Um, but then, once you know, once you do it, it, it kind of comes together. I'm like skipping eating right now. <laughs> I haven't had lunch, but I, I've, I've I kind of want to keep this thing going. Sugar. Feel so, feel so. Oh, you know, these can connect actually. These don't have to be short. Um. Ah. Feel so bad, sugar. I feel so bad, sugar. A bad sugar. Sugar is fun to sugar. That's a really nice syllable thing to do. Sugar, so I can just forget. Forget. Forget? Nah. Sugar. 
sugar. Just another sugar on this hit, I think. But doing sugar. Um, sugar. Let's do a big one. Dominant sharp 11 there. Um. Because I'm lying to say oh, 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 oh. So we haven't done an oh, oh, oh. Um. Yeah, it's just, just a straight ahead oh, oh, oh. Um, from, the, from the ninth. with how long the solo is I mean I really kind of have these verses we just got to get past this and we'll have a bunch of ensemble stuff but yeah this stuff has to be a solo man it just has to <laughs> I mean, it just it just kind of doesn't work the the verses don't completely work with the harmony and the so yeah we just gotta we just gotta fill these with like take six figures and stuff um Lonely still, uh, well, I got a lonely still, lonely still, lonely still. It's kind of, is this what I did before? I'm gonna, I'm gonna write it and then see if I already did this. Lonely. I feel like it's familiar. Oh, it is familiar. Lonely. Well, that's fine, actually. If I just need to make sure it's exactly the same if I'm doing a similar thing. Oh, no, I remember this. It was... Yeah, it can be different. It can be different. It's not that close. Lonely. Lonely still. Lonely. Not short, by the way. That's the rhythm, but doesn't need to be short. Lonely still. Lonely still. Yeah, and I'm not going boom hole to fill. Yeah. Got just like mm, got that sugar. Yeah, just got that sugar. Just got that sugar. <laughs> I think so. Sugar. 
Yeah, that's what I want to do. So, got that. Doom. Got that. Shake that shake And then the longer fall. God. You want to know where that's, you know, what I think is inspiring that is, uh, and got no gifts. <laughs> I swear it's coming from um, um, Little Drummer Boy, Take Six, um, from He Is Christmas. And got no gifts. Whoa, whoa. It's just like that's in my head. Got that. <laughs> got that sugar. Um, so. Got and what, what really those voicings are, are. Got. 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 Oh, what's this? That might not be the t finished voicing part of that, but uh, so that's got got that. Uh, and then that should, we're watching just for f folks at home. Um, we're watching voice leading as we're doing this all the time. It's just pretty automatic to, to try to pay attention to, am, am I doing anything that's harder than it has to be? <laughs> no matter who the group, you know, who it is. We're trying to aim for, I mean, I, th I think with these rhythms and stuff, we, we have a, a level four, but I feel like it's a level four that plenty of groups can hang with, especially once they have the tracks. Don't you think? I mean, it probably, it's, yeah, maybe it's the three and a half, but like, you know, do got, 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 I mean, once you start, once you start doing that, I think you're, you're probably, you're probably right in a level four. Um, but I really think this is going <laughs> to, I think it's going to be a catchy one. Um, I think that's, that's probably going to work out. No, I mean, no matter what, um, John's group can do it. I'm just trying not to overwrite in this case. Because it don't cost money. Well, they're getting used to catching these. Dun, dun. Now, they're not going to get to go do, 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 because we're putting them on this. And, and I, I really, they've been really patient at this point in the chart in terms of like, like they're doing harmony, but like they, well, I guess it hasn't been so patient. Um, but I don't really want them on sipping your soda and eating your pie. You know what? Actually, I say I don't want that, but I don't know if we can do, I don't know if we can do much else. Can we? May See, the, this stuff, all this uh, elaboration of static harmony, as we call it in uh, wonky jazz circles, um, do I prefer this being called D flat? I think I do. I think I want all this to be uh, D flat. Um, anyway, because of that, it kind of limits us a little bit. Um, just make sure that enharmonics don't look like a pain to think about. drag to have to yeah let's see uh, blah blah um, 
No, no, I, I, I do want to think of it like that. That's fine. Um, and then that's fine. Uh, yeah, but I think we're thinking of that as a so, yeah. Um, okay, sorry. I had a bunch of that to think about. Oh, and because I didn't finish my articulation run, I better make sure I do this while I go. I could have done that anyway. Okay, so all of that is to say, um, between level three and four is fine. The groove will be easy for students to feel. Okay, that's good. I'm not sure this isn't. <sighs> do way deep in the heart. I mean, I, it's a special thing. It's the chorus, and she barely hits it. But I kind of think there's a chance that it's octaves. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try some stuff to make it not octaves. But I mean, I think a lot of it is. I think a lot of this is octaves. Okay. Um. Okay, so we need a bad, uh, so I, we, we do need one more of these. Do I have one from earlier? E, e flat seven to C seven that we've done, that we know how to do, that we will have learned out of nowhere to, huh? yeah so yeah we need a different one we need a new one here that it has to be stronger so um yeah it's like that kind of it's kind of that energy Big chordal energy coming. Um, let's see. So it's. Just that root movement by thirds with these dominants just gets the basses and tenors traveling a little more than I like by default. But I think it's our only only option there. Sugar. Da -da. And this is just da da. And then bump, 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 and then sip in your soda. See, like, if it's, well, it, it's not that it's E flat seven sus. She's kind of writing that in her lead sheet, but really, like, you're playing this. Some guitar players get freaked out when they see notes that they have to play for sure. It's clear that those are notes you have to play, and then you see a chord because they're really used to just realizing chords. Um, but I'm gonna leave it. Um, and I think it'll be okay, but, um, so yeah. So only other thing is possibly, um, letting the, letting the Sprano Altos cover this and then the guys, I'm uh, sorry, uh, tenor basses could do. Symphony of soul, symphony of soul, symphony of soul. Sipping your soda and eating your pie. This is actually, if I leave this, if I leave this in octaves, this is where we gain back um, a little bit of our difficulty. I mean, can I? Yeah, I mean, the, I'm wondering if I can fan it into harmony. The pro, what I'm, what I'm dealing with is this. I'm dealing with how this stuff relates to a melody and when like you need to make sure it's matching if these guys are making harmonic decisions and moves this has to match and these things are matching and these things are hitting on the beat and this is syncopated uh, so it's challenging now i can i could probably do something um but like for example like what is this on beat three if i want to dip in the chord of honey and then i've got this What? I don't even know what chord you write with that. It's gnarly. I mean, what if it were, if it were, um, yeah. 
So, you know, you know, okay, a way we could do it is if we don't do Lila's thing, like later on when it comes back, the chorus comes back, we could not have her do her bling, 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 bling. We could just take that away and have them, have the rhythm section just rock out on, you know, or like, or God, I can't play anymore. I hurt a tendon and it, I, it's, I'm having to relearn to use my fingers. Yeah, I mean, it's an arrangement, you know. Um, we can always do that. No way to enter the day. Okay. Yeah. So let me try. Let me try. We've got more. Okay. We've got to do something with the ensemble on, on the verse. This is too much verse solo material man they've just done a solo give them a break i mean they've just done a like you know some sort of a so this guy we gotta give him a break uh so what have they just finished okay da, da, da. Sugar. okay so we have to do something with the ensemble not sure yet um and then solo has to say sweetie when you find it back okay All right, here's the move. Here's I'm just going to be bold and 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 make this decision. Even though I know what all this stuff is in her version, we can Oh, it's doing it again, man. Wow. Hide user on this channel. Yeah, I mean it's hidden except for that I'm showing So you guys couldn't see it if it were. God, I hate this. That's a drag. It must just be because somehow some somebody can tell that I'm showing the chat on my screen. I guess I have to stop showing the chat on my screen. All right. Um, what a drag. People suck. <laughs> Sometimes. Some people suck. Random YouTube people suck. All right. Uh, okay, so that is what we're going to do. I'm going to get rid of the top part of all this and we're going to write harmony and so what this is now uh, is um, Like it's it's a bunch of like actual sus stuff, even though she's like laying into it. You know, it's not even sus. It's not even sus. Forget it. It's just it's a seventh. It's and then this I want to be D flat seven anyway, like thirteen and all that. You know, um, change the notes. Change the notes. Yeah, that's what it is. We're gonna get there. Yeah, I, li I like this. It'll be different. It'll be different on the on the way out, you know, and head out. So that's that's cool. Um, blah, blah. In this whole section, it's gonna build the intensity and all that. So this is very good. Blah, blah. So they've just done. Why is? Ugh. Okay. So. Just writing a piano part now. Oh, that's a sus. I meant to not do that. Okay, so. Yeah quarter figure for the guitar oh i see what you mean yeah that's a good idea i can't reach it oh my hand uh 
looks awful. That's, yeah, I know why too, yeah. And then more non-sus business. Like, none of this is sus. I just got to get this out of here so I don't get confused. Because it, it, it really isn't. Um. Um. I mean, I could always, like, just re-harm the heck out of this or something. I, I just... I like th I like what the original tune does. I don't feel like I need to add reharm or anything. To, um, um, yeah. Okay. So and then we'll just and we're just gonna give we're just gonna give change. You know, like comping, straight comping. This is, yeah, this is comp. Play some stuff that makes sense here. Um, so all that, just to finish that first, I guess. Um, and then, yeah, we get to write some cool, we get to write some ensemble harmony, finally, in the, on the chorus. So that, that'll be good. So we've, we've paid respect to the thing that Lila's chart does, and then, we, you know, we're doing a little bit of something different with a, an important part of the chart. Um, which I know she appreciates. Oh, that's not what I wanted at all. None of this is what I wanted. Undo everything, please. Just go back to the original. I just wanted this. Remove the diagram. Okay. I know that this just really should be a C flat. Um, just a little comping figure. I still didn't get rid of all of the susses. It's better. Just trying to imagine what I might play if I was just sitting at the end. Um, hmm. Thank you. 
makes sense. Okay. So, um, that then is just regular old comping that doesn't do a bunch of weird harmony. And then now I can, I can write. So, So by soda, I want to be here. Don't know yet. So our goal, so kind of figuring out the goal notes or the goal chords, <laughs> um, and then they're going to be, you know, those are going to be logical with one another. So you know, chordal harmony with the seventh. Whoa. So same thing, honey. Can't you tell what I'm trying to do, Sibelius? Um, I'm just gonna do this throughout, so I have all of my, all of my uh, similar things matching and making sense. So this is the obvious, these are all like the chords, you know, like <laughs> if you do something different from this, it's totally acceptable. Uh, there's other ways to voice it, but these are like, I, I mean, I guess you would say stock, like this is F7. <laughs> so there's nothing um, magical about this, but you know, how we get in and get into them and out of them is gonna be the artfulness of this, I think. Um, so that's where the strategy is, and I have to think about voice leading to get in and out. Oh, and harmonics are a drag for me. Um, and this is really good because we needed to split some harmony here. Because we can't have, uh, yeah, that doesn't make sense. Um, not harmonized. Um, this is probably going to be a little different. I don't want the I don't want the tenors up on the high G necessarily. Maybe they have to. I don't know. just awful this pre yeah the the person is still they just can't they're just not able to get rid of them and I just don't understand why wow okay so so this might be one where it's just sopranos um, soft one only uh, uh, starting it but fine and then and then we take a break nothing whatever it's probably that but fine and then 
that, that, that. Or whatever, sorry, I don't remember what key I was in. Um, it's probably that. You know, or I mean, you could put words on it somehow, but I think this is okay. Um. Um. And then, yeah, I guess I need to move this lyric up here. need to go ahead and split this is getting ugly um but anyway dot 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 for a big moment there um Oh yeah, I just let all this go and I didn't decide anything yet. I just know that I just knew that we were gonna do harmony here. Um Oh, is my Okay, it's working. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, how do we get into this? So basically, your soda is what I have to figure out first. I mean, that's the thing. Like, th because it's all one chord. And the uh, soprano maltos have the extensions. Really, this could be. I mean, it could be that. Um, I'm sipping your soda and eating your pie. And you gain some points in terms of not making the tenor bass parts too hard and it, and it helps it to be closer to a three uh, rather than sipping your soda and eating your I mean if you're trying to write a groove for thought chart or something or vertical voices chart for that matter you know then you <laughs> you can do a lot more with this but I I think it's I think I think we gotta keep it in the ballpark here within this harmony. Uh, sipping. Sipping your so okay, I can give the bass a zipping. Your so if if they're gonna be on the third. Yeah, so the basses can bass can have a little bit of motion then, but tenors just got to lay into that third or that seventh. Um, so only one one note for the three part up there. So that's okay. The voice leaning will be okay for all of that. Sipping your soda, it's easy. Sipping your soda, it's all easy. Um, so we're happy with that. Yeah, so we basically decide what note get w gets what kind of harmony. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's basically it. And then pi is a unison. Uh, I 
think, yeah. Um, and then E E is up here. Yeah. Um, what do you think of that? Uh, I, I mean, it's a compromise for sure. I, I, I'm not even sure what else I would do with that. Um, I mean, da, 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 they all kind of see like seem too accented to write passing chords, or, you know, to write non-harmonic chords on those at any point. It's not a reharm thing. We're not going there. So yeah, I think that's what it is. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, in this case, then I, I know exactly what this is. This has to be no one can get um, out of the way Probably just straightforward like that. In our way, uh, this is all jacked up. So no one can can get away. Um, and then no, no, no. And then I just have to do no one can get out. And I think. That makes way, way. So that's gonna attach to a layer two in the flat. I don't like the looks of it at the moment, um, but I can't make it look any better than that. Yikes. Ugh. Hmm. So um, this I can utterly copy. That's just the same material, and then I can, you know, input this. This is the same too. This is the same. Enter the day. So it's just, I just got to change this to no better enter the day and then. What are we doing? Um, I better match these articulations also while we're here. Fly doesn't it? Fly it high, fly it. Um, okay, that was a mistake. No one to, no one to get it.
Okay. So, again, we have the formula. We know exactly how this melody works. Except for fixing all these. Just wish it would intuit this a little bit better. And then, yeah, so if you've learned the shape of this section, um, you know, it, it's, it's just so much easier, you know, to sing the whole section, but it's going to sound full. this one um, so I, I think that makes it efficient uh-huh um, and nobody um, and then this it's gonna be all e flat seven so where we use layer two. Nope. That's where we now use layer two on an F. Delete the extra. Um, what else? Nobody's bad. Nobody's bad. I, that doesn't seem right. Yeah, gim is long. So yeah, just gotta not over staccato this. That would be dorky. Nobody's but but my. Uh huh. So that. That and that are staccato, and that and that, that and that, and that and that. I'll tell you what, I'm getting hungry. Um, nobody's bad. I'll just do this. Um, almost there. Yeah, it's all the same uh, formulaic. Uh, chord structure of the writing, and it really no reason to reinvent the wheel um, each time this comes up. It's it's going to have um, logic to it. to make sense to the singers so they can learn it. Uh, we want it to sound nice and full to the audience. Is she? No one can tell if it's all a mistake. Okay. So just remove that one.
we've got a cuz here that we need to add. Cuz. And then. This is where it's a little trickier. Um, but I'm going to try to make it work. Because. Uh, uh, All of that would work. Um, and then, okay, so we might be in three parts the whole time. That'll do it. Yep. So there's our uh, enhanced uh, enhanced chorus. Now, we didn't finish back here, but I'm probably going to be taking a dinner break and then coming back and finishing all this. i got to write the drums, um, add the dynamics, and uh, so I'm going to need to take a dinner break. So I'm, I mean, whatever it is, it's 3.50 my time, but lunch, I guess. <laughs> Sugar, my friend, sugar, my friend. Okay, so that stuff will all happen. Um, so what needs to be done uh, at this point? I'm going to go ahead and play through the chart as it is one more time at the end of this segment. Um, but, uh, you know, working on where I just was. I haven't figured out yet what this is going to be with the group, but it, it's, it's possible the best move is for us to be on a unison again. Gives us some, a little, like, gives us some points for level three. Um, it also could be ensemble like the soprano alto with the tenor basses doing that. They could do that. So that could, that's a possibility. And then we got symphony soda, all that. Blah, 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 blah. Then we have a uh, uh, little bit of improv into uh, sugar, my friend, sugar, my friend, sugar, my friend. Uh, probably. Yeah, I really don't know. See, this is gonna be tough too because the harmony is moving all over the place here too. It's not, it's not just, in, you know, completely matched up. So th this, God, maybe, maybe the group takes a break in this whole section. I really don't know um, because na 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 na. See, then yes, so da. Maybe I, j I was probably going to have to do a couple other, like, sort of counter lines. And then a da -da 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 -da, and we have the ending. Um, so it is pretty darn close to done, but I am I'm, I'm, uh, getting foggy. Um, we'll need to write the drums. We need to add dynamics, lay out the chart, prep it for recording, and that's what we have left. Uh, I will play what we have now, and then I will take a break.
no, I'm, I'm, I'm noting uh, here that I'm probably going to have to fix some of that stuff. Um, when the melody's like leaning into the sharp nine and I've got, I've got nine chords going, that's not going to fly. So I'm going to have to fix some stuff. That, I think that stuff sounds too fast. It could be that I haven't been there for a while, but let me just see like what the fastest is that that. Yeah, it's way too fast. So um, I need to mo modify these again. Uh, th this was where the big jump happened that, that w didn't work. 108. And then maybe 112. And then just like 116. And just like stay there. Maybe 116. And then it kind of does suddenly. It's a little slower here. Um so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna see it. I don't, I don't know how to mark that. But we'll just. People hear it. That's that still feels. Oh well. Oh yeah, this this one fifteen doesn't make sense in there at all. But um. Uh, so maybe it's like one. What has this been? One sixteen. So if I have this as like. 
back to 112 again or something. So it's kind of winding down a little. I think that's going to work better in the recording. Okay. Jake. Hey, man. Uh, crazy chart. Can't wait to hear the demo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it'll be fun. That's going to be fun. Uh, looking forward to it. Yeah. Getting close. Getting close on the chart. Um, I would guess another two, roughly two hours of work on this. Which a seven hour chart is, that's okay. That's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Recording process takes another um, eight to 10 hours for me and another six hours for Julie to sing her stuff. I've got to send it off to my drummer and wait for him to be able to play it. He's pretty busy. He does a lot of film scoring. Um, he writes, writes uh, uh, a version of MacGyver and a, ver a version of uh, Hawaii Five-0 that air up in um, um, in Canada, and then he's he's got a couple other shows that are on like the Paramount Network or Peacock or something like that. Anyway, he's really busy, and then he's got his drum set set up, and he knocks these things out. And he's like, he's from Canada, so he he um, is always happy, I think, to play Lila Bialy tunes. Okay, I'm getting tired. I better go. Um, Thanks for coming along, Jake. Good to see you, my guy. Um, and I will, um, I will hop on to finish this later. I believe I may hop on to finish this later. I may just do it. <laughs> I may. Let, there's a chance I may just let this be the uh, the behind the chart on this, and I'll just uh, let the rest of the chart be a bit of a surprise. So anyway, if you've enjoyed the process on that, please leave a like, <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> anyway, thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Um, I will uh, I will catch you all uh, 